welcome. Uh, this is the the pre-stream bit. I'm not live yet, but I but I will be shortly. I'm I'm Vince. But I, but I will as, be um, shortly. I'm, I'm Vince. Pleasant Kenobi on the internet, and welcome to the joy of punting. Hmm. Um. Yes, this is my stream. I will make some mistakes. That bit is absolutely, absolutely going to happen. But as long as you're here, along the way for these happy little mistakes, that's what I like to call punts. Happy little mistakes. Well, it's worth it then, isn't it? Uh, whilst you're waiting, if you would like to click down below, I can't move ahead too much because of the the way this image is made. But if you'd like to click the image down below. Trying to point with my nose, it's not working. Uh, the, down below there's some links. Um, you can join my Patreon via this. Uh, you can you can you can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you're really missing out on where all the action and magic happens. Oh, I guess I should, yeah, I should explain how you can support me as well, right? So the Patreon, you can sign up for like two bucks a month. It's less than a booster pack. And that allows you to be on the Discord server where you can hang out with me and other patrons and talk shit, see when I'm getting getting low and pissed off at magic for losing a lot. Or when I'm happy because I'm just wrecking fools because it's better to be lucky than good. All those things and more. A giant hentai. Um, all that sort of stuff. All on the Discord. There's other tiers as well. There's a splicer tier where we, we talk once a week in a voice call and you get to submit decks and stuff. But have a look on there. That explains it all there. Uh, you can subscribe to me here on Twitch. On YouTube, it's free. It's the best free way to subscribe and support me is to just subscribe on YouTube. So if you haven't already, please go fucking do it. Um, but you can subscribe here on Twitch. Uh, there's a button up there. Again, talking about my arms, my hands is really weird. Do you like jazz? Jazz. Jazz. So yeah, you can subscribe with the button above my head. I'm pointing with my hand, but you can't see it. Uh, if you're on Twitch Prime, it's free. Otherwise, you can throw a few bucks into the into the Quazo well, and I will take some percentage of that. Hopefully, a good percentage when I get partner. This is maybe another affiliate. Hopefully, in a few months' time, we'll look back and be like, "Haha, I remember when you said you weren't you weren't partner in that Twitch intro." Okay, I filled three minutes of dead time. Um, hang on. That might have been my hand. That might have been someone else's hand. I guess you just never know. Stop it. So, yeah. I, I kind of like my intro to be about 10 minutes long. Uh, sometimes I take 10 minutes to get set up. I'll load up OBS and something will be broken. What else? What else? I upload once a week to Channel Fireball's YouTube channel. The comment section are mean there. Uh, I have Dice to Removal, a podcast. Just Google Dice to Removal. Check out the Telerian Community College's YouTube channel. And me and the professor shoot the shit with regards to magic. A twit. Twi 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 Twitch? This is Twitch. Twitter. Twitter's good. I, um... I'm very active on Twitter. It's a good way to get hold of me, to ask me questions, to engage with me. Go follow me over there as well. Instagram's pretty good. I post pictures of my dog. Post pictures of me. I've realized my fans have been on this whole time. I hope that's not made a lot of noise. Bollocks. I guess I'll turn that off now. Ah, fuck. But yeah, Instagram. Picture of my dog. Picture of me. Picture of food. Magic cards. It's, it's pretty good. I enjoy Instagram. You get to make artsy fartsy photos and stuff. Some of mine are artsy fartsy. Some of them are. Actually, the majority of them are just like spare the moment thing. Yeah. Um. Birds. Yeah, so jazz. I like jazz, right? Everyone like jazz? This one's more smooth jazz. Oh, man, this is so itchy right now. Fuck. Thanks, Bob Ross. Um, yeah, just going to hang out here for a little bit. Do boop ba doo Jazz. Jazz. If this comes out really well, I'm going to be upset that you only see it for the first 10 minutes of a stream. 10 or so minutes. I'll probably make it only 7. 
seven minutes of me fucking about. I could just like play some like like an image of a seaside here now, couldn't I? Like this. And I'm back. Bob Ross with the seaside for a face is pretty weird. If you like this, can we get some uh, capital letter hype in the chat, please? Right now. At the end of the stream, we shall be raiding someone else. Normally raiding down someone with a smaller viewership than us. To share the love. Sometimes up if we want to, you know, network. But, um, yeah, so we're going to uh, raid someone. So if I say that the stream's coming to an end, it's our last game, I'm about to go, please don't fucking log off. Stick around, okay? It hurts my pride when we raid with only like half the percentage of the people. Yeah, half the percentage? 50% of the people that were actually in here originally? It hurts my pride. <coughs> so don't do that. Oh, chat rules. Be nice to one another. Don't be a dick. That's kind of it, really. Oh, there's a donation button down below. You can give bits as well if you want to support. Um, sharing my videos is a great way of supporting the channel. Like, if you have friends you think will enjoy my videos, fucking show them to them. Anyway, I guess, with only with only a few more seconds to go, we should play some magic. So welcome to Pleasant Kenobi's Wonder Emporium. The punt shunt. That's not even a term. The joy of punting. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, this is the the pre-stream bit. I'm not live yet. But I but I will be shortly. I'm I'm fit. Oh, hello, you primitive bunch of shit rags. It's me, your boy. It's your boy. My wife's not home, so I'm going to be shouting more than normal, I think. When the wife's a play, a wet a play? When the wife's away, the streamer will shout like a twat. Hello, chat. Hello, 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 hello. Let's find out who's in the room. Firstly, shout out to Janet Ren Zero for the subscription with Twitch Prime whilst we're in the intro. And a big shout out to Squi Squiggly Cum. Another one. No, S Squigglyum, not Squiggly Cum. That's a different thing. For the Twitch Prime subscription, two new subs today. Thank you very much, my friends. I see some fucking hype in the chat. Another with some one. Emotes. Got some bits from Naki as well, Mono Hell, and some, well, both bits from Mono Hell, because he fucking loves lands, doesn't he? Now, I'm just Instagramming this post real Another quickly to say that I'm live. Uh, hashtag streaming. Look, this is live content creation right here, kids. I've got a face cam for that one. You ready? You ready? You ready? That's the live fucking finger tonguing. And then I'm going to do a roll call and then we're going to play some fucking lands, you cunts. You fucking cunts. It's a milky 21 year old boy. He says Mega Churf. Hello, my friend. Oh, some more subs. Three months in a row. The while you train never stops. It's the best. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Right, legacy, hashtag streaming, hashtag uh, streamer, magic, fisting. Should I put hashtag fisting on there? I'm going to put hashtag fisting on there. I wonder if that's going to get like a... Can you see that? Can you see the hashtag fisting? Can I can I zoom in on that without showing my address? That nah, kind of tells me... Some it's got location services on. I don't want you cunts to know where I live. Legacy streaming, streaming, that, that, that'll do. Right. Do, 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 do. Did I hear fisting? You did hear fisting. You did hear fisting, indeed. Rob will be with us very shortly. He's just finishing fisting. Mikey the Missile, you were the sub, so thank you, my friend. So, who is in chat? We've got Panzer, we've got Mono Hair, we've got Marcus Hovel 09, we've got Plasma Parados, we've got Admiral Bastoys, we've got Janet Reno Zero, as you as you said. What's good, my guy? Everything's good. Life is good. Magic is good. Also, I ate two donuts and a cup of tea, so I feel a little bit sick. So if I pause suddenly, it's because I'm just waiting for my sickness to pass. Brew182, that's a cool name, because it's like Blink182, but Brew is excited for lands. Blood Baron of England is here saying, I'm so glad you're streaming. Give me something to do, since I'm still, I'm ill as fuck. And we've got a host from Plasma Paradise, thank you. And Grizzly Cyborg, what is that, Enigma Bud? Huh. Uh, hey Vince, how's it going? Everything in the States is going to shit right now. Well, it's the Another same over way. here, buddy. It's the same over here. So, 
So I'm just going to let you all know, I'm feeling a little bit weird. Uh, my wife's away. Uh, I played a little magic today and recorded some bits. Got one of them up onto the YouTube. So the video just went up. Go watch that after the stream. And then, and then uh, a regular viewer commented, like, where's all the shenanigans and the old meme stuff? And every time someone says that to me, where's the big meme gameplay? I feel guilty as fuck. So I just want you to all, and it just, I, I can't help it. It just, it gets me, you know? It fucking, it hits me in the feels. And I feel bad for not making them. But they take a lot of time and effort when I'm heavily editing them and scripting them and cutting away the bits and bobs. I'm hoping to have one of those come out this Friday. I've got some gameplay ready for it. So that's going to be hopefully this Friday. I'll have some more gameplay this week as well. I'll have a lol what and a meme one. So, um, and Pat is just right. You can't force them. But I feel guilty that I haven't put one out. Like, um, I put one out just before I went to America and it's now been like over three weeks or whatever. The last one wasn't even that popular. I've had other videos do better. That took me one tenth of the time. And it's just like, oh man, I like making them bloody people to fucking watch them, you know? So yeah. I'm very ready to see Vince play some lands. The slow plays are nice. Yeah, people like different stuff. That's the whole point of putting all that content about the pack openings and shit last week, by the way. That's not what I'm becoming. I'm not like a new like fucking open boosters or whatever. I'm just trying to attract a variety of people so we can enjoy magic together. I just punch the microphone. Together. Like a big cohesive ball of cum. Right. This is the main stream. I don't even know why I said cum there. It was completely and utterly not relevant. Right. So we are playing. I mean, that's a great, but I don't mind slow plays. Good. I'm glad. I, well, to be fair, like 30,000 people watch these slow plays. So they're not, they're obviously popular. Um, and they're easier for me to make in terms of like time commitment. Where a meme player will take me like over a day to edit. Like, I mean, a full day, like six seven eight nine ten hours with some of them right we're playing lands i i used to play lands here and there i used to borrow from a friend to play at events i've got a couple of friends who play it quite a lot um i haven't played it since modern horizons was put it uh this is a non ren and six version this is the first place deck from over the weekend from a little birdie called casey lancaster they came first at the star city games philadelphia open playing this particular lands deck and i've made zero changes to it i kind of wanted to have a molten uh, vortex somewhere in the deck because a one red mana molten vortex is pretty good but we don't have it <laughs> i may have clipped you saying should i put hashtag fisting good good that's a uh, consistent branding from me also vincent dma D, &D campaign I officially named them the primitive screwheads thanks for the name and have a good stream and busk one that name actually comes from the evil dead or, or, or Ash versus the Evil Dead. Uh, well, no, Evil Dead, Evil Dead Three, Ash versus the Army of Darkness, or whatever. That's where it comes from. Thanks for yeah. Tw tweet clips at me, or if you're on the Discord, stick them in the Stevie stream room, and they'll make a compilation eventually. I'm have some D and D content coming at some point, probably in the beginning of next year. I'm going to start playing D and D again myself, and then me and Rob are going to work on something and get something together. Because I've been listening to not another D and D podcast, and I'm really fucking just want to get back into D and D again. I fucking love D and D. When did Twitch start censoring chat? Uh, it doesn't. You can't post links here. And I may have one or two, like, ridiculous words um, uh, auto-modded. Uh, I need to add some more stuff to that because this is a zero slur zone. Uh, so it might be that, buddy. So hopefully you're not... <laughs> Epic fail, I hope you're not dropping slurs. Because I'll be fucking annoyed. Right. Right, 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 right. No, no. Ridiculous words like blank mange, whatever the fuck that means, can stay. Oh, I feel a bit queasy. I ate two whole fucking donuts. I should not have ate two. I should not have ate two donuts. That's not what I should have been doing. Well, I didn't eat the whole thing. I still have half of one downstairs. But they're going stale. So if I leave them, they get even more stale. And I drink this tea. I should have. It's a very strong milky tea. Okay. Look how dark that tea is. It's so strong. It's like singed the ends of the cup. Look, because I let it brew for too long. It's making me feel a bit sick. Why I'm drinking it when I'm feeling sick, I don't know. Right, Rob, where are you? Let's give you a buzz then, my friend. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Hello? Hello! Can you hear me, Rob? Yes, I can. Good, good. I should probably screen share with you if you want to see what we're doing. Yes, please. Uh, do I sound okay? You sound more hollow than normal. Are you on a different microphone? I am. I'm trying out my uh, my setup on my work laptop. So. What's the relationship between the Gearhead and HL2? I hope it populates into HL3. 
and absolutely, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're talking about Half Life and Gear Red is in the, the Commander? I have no fucking idea, my friend. Leave the tea bag in, you coward. <laughs> All right. I'm going to talk for the deck while Rob's outside his microphone. Oh, Half Life 2. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I love Half Life 2. But when he said Gered and populating and shit, I don't, who, who, I don't recall a character called Gered. Am I missing something, Paz? Oh, hang on. Because Gered's in front of Half Life 2. I see. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a reference to the background. Look at all this cool shit I've got, bro. I need to rearrange a bit of it at some point. I'll refresh this next uh, next stream as well. Next Monday we'll do a we'll do a milk carton or a giant phallus. I probably won't do a phallus. That's probably in terms of service drawing cocks on stream. I'll put it in front of the, the Fallout Three case now, so you fucking don't give me shit, you know. Yeah, this 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 is fucking awesome. This chest burster is so good. Um, it used to live up on the top of my shelving. My top of my shelving is now like boxes of shit and this really bad LED strip that I never ever have on. Should I put the LED strip on for this stream? Should I do that? There we go. Fucking hell, that's bright. Look at how bright that is, chat. What colour should we have, chat? Come on, choose. Should I turn the lights off? Would that help? Oh, by God, my eyes! <laughs> no, Vince, you should have saved that for when you stream Legacy Storm. Ah. I guess green makes sense as we are playing lands. Is that green? That's blue. Purple, white. It's kind of green. It's kind of... Let me turn the light off. There we go. That's kind of got a nice Christmas glow to it, hasn't it? It's almost Christmas, kids. What token is visible in the center column? Here, this is a clue token, but in, uh, not a clue token, so a treasure token in Spanish or Italian, Tesoro. Anyone in chat know what's going on, Tesoro? And that's a flower wolf that we opened up there. I think Melinda sent me a load of Yu-Gi-Oh, didn't they? <laughs> so I uh, cracked some on stream, we got this. Yeah. Is that too bright, chat? Are you finding that too bright for you? Because I will turn it off if it's too bright. How do I change the chat settings? Apparently it seems like I'm setting mine that's blocked messages. I'm not sure, Epic Fair. You might have to give it a Google, my friend. Right. It says in the bottom of the language. All right. Let's have a... Oh, all right. All right. Italian. Italia. The LEDs pointing up might be better. Yeah, m yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Directly at the camera is overexposing them, perhaps. Well, I'm not going to change it now because they're haphazardly stuck to the shelf because it is. I can always do this and just turn them off. Oh, no, that's the s that's the sound setting. <laughs> yeah, look at that, kids. It's, it's responding to my voice. So the deep tones get only the edges. But if I go louder, louder, like a fucking, like a monster, like some sort of magical disco monster. God, it makes my bags look bad when I haven't shaved as well. Woo! <laughs> okay, that's going to fucking, that's going to fuck up my eyes, I tell you. Okay. I look very dark in that corner. We've gone to the main stream, but now I can't see. Oh, if I broke the stream. I might have to turn these off. Seems like Streamlabs is down. Uh, on the upside, my neighbours are actually like clinically deaf. <laughs> so that's the thing. I'm not laughing at them being deaf. I'm more laughing at the idea of them like uh, not being able to hear anything, which is good, right? Right. So this is lands. The idea of lands is to play lands and then you land your opponent. Uh, the way you land your opponent is you can grind them out with the Grove of the Burn while I was punishing fire combo if you really, really want to. But really, we're going to Dark Depths combo them and make a 2020. Oh, I feel a bit queasy still. Uh, we are a control deck with a combo finish. Uh, the, these decks used to play three to four copies of Punishing Fire, but now they've moved towards Abrupt Decay to kill the, that. Those lights are going to do my head in. 
I just fancy playing some lands, Fungaroo. I haven't got around to playing it for a while. Um, but the Mrs. and Bruce, or do they... Uh, Bruce is downstairs chilling, and my wife is away on business. So, um, yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, so this is going to be fine, Niels. Um, yeah, Abrupt Decay will kill, uh, uh fucking, uh, Renin Sixes, because Renin Sixes are very good at stopping you from, like, waste unlocking people. Because you make multiple land drops a turn with Exploration and Life in the Loam, we can waste land lock people. We have access to Three Vishard and Ports to fuck with people's mana as well. Ghost Quarter allows us to hit Basics. Field of the Dead is one of the newest additions, because it allows us to make a shit ton of Zombos. And that's kind of the deck, really. We got a Bajuka Bog main. What well, are our main utility lands? I need to check this because this this is not like I I know it. I knew that we'd start to play Running Six, but obviously this player didn't play Running Six to Philadelphia. Uh, and once so we've got Ancient Tomb to combo faster, Bajuka Bog for graveyards, Blast Zone for problematic permanents, Dark Depths is the combo, a Field of Ruin. Then what's our land disruption package? We've got Ghost Quarter, uh, Maze of uh, a um, utility land. Caracas is a utility Another land. Another one. That's been stages of mana. Fuck. Oh, no, sorry, combo. That's combo. Uh, then we've got three Richard and Ports for mana disruption and Wastelands for mana disruption. So interestingly, there's no Glacial Chasm in this deck. There's no. There is no Glacial Chasm! I'm going to have to turn these lights off. They're fucking my eyes up. Oh, this is a more regular sound! Ha-ha! Yeah, I mean, running six in lands is a bit weird because essentially it's like loam, but you can attack it. That's how I see running six. And, like, it's good in the uh, matchups with the X1s and shit, but I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, so let's get into some constructed magic. Oh, our sideboard. I'll show you our sideboard. Because, again, this is someone else's configuration. Is this a disco stream? It is! Every time you sub, we play a disco tune. No, no, not really. That's not true. Don't don't sub expecting a disco tune. I'm going to turn... Oh, no. I've dropped my Pokeballs. I've dropped my balls! The fuck's that Pokeball one? I don't know. I just, um... No, no. Turn this off. There we go. So the light's back on for a bit. I might put them back on for a game later. And that, kids, is why Vince doesn't use the lights. Because they give him a fucking headache. Huh. Okay. Okay, my nose is on fire today. It's got wet wet in England and somehow I'm fucking having an itchy nose. Have some disco mates. Thanks, buddy. No one open sound settings. Open volume mixer. Do, do, do. Turn my headphones down a little bit. There we go. Right, let's do a league. So, like I said, if we go... Rob will be back. He's just fucking around with his microphone. We've got three lay lines for the graveyard decks. We've got Elvish Reclaimer and Tyler Strike. I assume for the Delver decks and to play... Uh, threats. Uh, I guess, I guess Elvish Reclaimer technically allows us to combo faster because it's going to be United the Reliquary. This is against the combo ma matchups. Force of Vigor helps us blow up uh, uh, fucking Blood Moon and similar. Drop of Honey's about creature matchups and Abrupt Decay is another one for the, the, the blue mid range decks. Uh, Rob is not here yet. Rob is not. Well, he was here now he's, he's gone for a bit. I think he's restarting. He's calling me back in a moment. That's why you can't hear Rob. Hi, Picky. Hi, chat. What are we going on tonight? So, top hat, peasy. We're playing Lance in Legacy. Uh, like I said, I've got a bit of experience with the deck prior to Modern Horizons coming out and a slightly older list before... Well, before War of the Spark, actually. Before Blast Zone. Another one. Um, hello, sh 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 Shushishke. Shushishke. <laughs> Rob's referring to the traditional terrible. Yeah, I mean, that, that mic probably just had on was worse than his normal mic, I, I felt. Maybe we need some... So, what is up with my fucking hair today, kids? Oh, mark your fucking diaries. I'll be doing a proper announcement tomorrow or Wednesday. But on the... On December the 20th. December the 20th through the 21st. It's the charity stream this year. I'll be going 24 hours for charity. And we're going to be streaming 
every format you possibly can of magic. And there'll be set goals. If you want to see me dab for the first time in my life ever, and probably the last time, that'll be a low goal. And the high goals are like $10,000. I'll shave this part of my beard off and only this part. So yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I was considering doing a different charity. But um, we're going to do cancer research again, like we did last year. Uh, because one of my ex-colleagues from the bank died yesterday from cancer. I hadn't seen them for about eight weeks. And I got a message from some of my old colleagues saying, it's all right, it's okay. Don't, don't, no, let's not, let's not do stories too much because it's going to get me going. Uh, I got some message saying that he died alongside all his friends and family. So he died, um, yeah, with people that loved him. So for that reason, I am not considering other charities. I'm going to do cancer research again. Right. On that note, let's play some Legacy. We want the die roll, which is nice. Right, so we have Tega, Rishon de Port, Gamble, Life from the Loam, Verdant Catacombs, Field of the Dead, and Caracas. This seems okay. We've got a Life from the Loam. Like, there's nothing really to worry about. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to gamble for a Mox Diamond immediately. N Naki and others are going to think I'm mad with some of the lines I'm taking, but you know. Another one. Let's go ahead and get a Mox Diamond. We want to discard anything except for the Mox Diamond, okay? Oh no, do we want an Exploration? Exploration or Mox Diamond? Exploration or Mox Diamond? Exploration or Mox Diamond? Rob thinks Exploration. Naki and Lissando on Mox. Pleasant can be slave. Hello, buddy. It's all exploration. Hello, Neo. Thank you for watching the latest video. There'll be more videos tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and probably Saturday too. Mox, 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 Mox. Exploration doesn't help allow us to. I think Explorations is better. Because we get to play two lands a turn, right? We're not doing. If we had something else in hand, then the Mox is better. We just got a Verdant to it. So that is fucking sick. Frustratingly, discarding the Verdant is the worst of the lands. Because next time we could go on Exploration, Life, Loam, stuff back. Loam, shit, go Loam. We've already got Loam in hand, Jafar. Oh, call me harder, says Rob. Jesus wept. Once upon a time. Oh, no. So I, I, I generally believe now that Once Upon a Time is better in Fair Deck having played with it a little bit in Standard. Um, I don't think it's actually that good for the Unfair Decks. For example, Belcher. Belcher doesn't have enough lands or creatures to give a shit about Once Upon a Time. It found a forest for this person. What is it in? Elves? What is this in? Green Suns for Zero, get a Dryad Arbor? We want to draw Wasteland or Punishing Fire, I think. Oh, we wanted to land the loam in the bin. That makes sense. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hello. Hello. Right. Okay, I'm back. Okay, we're good. Good. Well, hello and welcome, Rob. Chat, how, how, how is hello. how's Rob's sound levels? He sounds okay to me, but how does he sound to you all? Do I sound okay? I should sound about as good as I usually do because I'm back to. I meant sound levels. I meant sound levels. He's still quiet. Oh, Could be louder. I will turn you up on my side. I don't know, Rob. What's your output like? Because on my Discord, I think you're already pumped up. Let me check. Yeah, I've already um, got you at 134. percent I can turn you up a little bit. I'll put you to 104, <laughs> 150. Okay, okay. My output is up settings uh, at maximum. Okay. Cool. So we ported them there in upkeep. Our opponent is, I... is either elves or maverick playing once upon a, 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 a time. I guess. I guess. Ancient tomb. Oh, Jesus. This is Sylvan Plug. Holy shit. I think this is Sylvan Plug. Ah. Ooh. Okay, this talk is... to me. I'm not aware of this. So Sylvan Plug is like a green um, like a chalice deck that also plays Chokes main board and like four copies of Sylvan Library. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, that, uh, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> okay, that's Talos Tracker. So I guess we just kill... Oh, we can't kill that. Fuck. Okay, so let's go... Field of the Dead. Green and one. Life from the Lone Verdant. Mm-hmm. 
Then we're going to go Verdant. Cracking a Verdant. Getting a Bayou for this Abrupt Decay next turn. This is new to me, by the way. Lands traditionally doesn't necessarily... Oh, so traditionally. In the period that I played a lot of Legacy, they didn't play a Bayou. It's more of a new thing. But at one point in the past, I suppose they did play uh, like blue lands and shit to play man lands and stuff. So... Um, I'm okay. saying traditionally, but I'm I'm saying traditionally as in like what I know of lands. Okay, so we're going to loan next turn. Hopefully, we we'll hit like a wasteland and some other bits, and we'll be able to play like three lands next turn. Yeah. But if we hit Thespian Saves plus Dark Depths, then we'll have our combo. So if this is seven plug on the upside. The chokes will be useless. Okay, there's a City of Traitors, which isn't commonly played in these decks. Oh no. Scavenging goose. Okay, they haven't got a green source. So that they mistapped for that skews. Oh, they loaned on two. So they, they chalice on two. Which is actually a pain in the ass. Uh, chalice on two is very good against lands. However, we get to abrupt decay it, but we can't kill the skews yet. So we really want to hit punishing fire and some and some uh we want to hit a punishing fire and the grove of the burn willows in our dredge. This actually might just be an aggro loan variant that's just playing one of of these, I guess. Uh, Thespian Stage, Verdant Catacombs, Ancient Tomb, Richard and Paul. Mm. Interesting. That's fucking irritating, because now the scavenger is going to eat two of our lands out of our bin next turn. <laughs> mm. You want to dredge the Punishing Fire? Yeah, I want to put the Punishing Fire in the bin and hit a... Because um, we're dredging, so we're not drawing. Uh, epic Fail. So when Punishing Fire goes in the graveyard, we can then return it to hand by using a Grove of the Bermelos. So we have to blow up the Chalice, and then we can't cast the Life from the Loam because we don't have a green source. Fuck. Yeah, but we don't want to cast Life from the Loam anyway because we don't want to get eaten by the Scoos. We don't want to leave it in the graveyard at this point, do we? We're going to have to. We can decay the Scoos, Snacky, but then we've got a Chalice on two, and we can't do anything. <laughs> I think we literally cannot win. At that point, we can't get the stage out of our bin. Can't do anything. Them having I mean, Scoos plus Chalice is just very good for them. Loam instead of decay. Loam will be counted. Yeah. So we have to decay. We have to get rid of the Chalice. So why don't we get rid of the Chalice and then pass? And well, that's the only thing we can do. I'm just trying to figure out if there was any other lines. And then yeah, we just want to. I guess we're going to lean very heavily on Field of the Dead. Yeah, I guess so. I guess we blow up the chalice on their end step, though. Uh, yeah, because I mean, it doesn't do it doesn't give us anything beneficial to do otherwise, does it? If we port a green source now, yeah, we need to be careful. Lands is a deck that we'll definitely time out with if we're not careful. Yes, that's the thing. I still the thing I find with lands: the, the the games are either two hundred turns or four turns, and nothing in between. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fair thing. You're either, you're either like a prison-based, like, um... Oh, they're using the green man to crack a clue. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. I think this is the guy who invented Sylvan Plug, if I remember correctly. Okay. I've, I played Sylvan Plug and almost did it for a CFP video, but I ended up canning it and playing a different deck for that week. And I played against him. We had the Sylvan Plug Mirror, which I didn't think was physically possible. <laughs> and uh, and he taught me through a load of stuff, so I'm pretty sure this is the Sylvan Plug like creator, the guy who made the source like thing about it. How weird is that? Oh, cool. I think that's him. I'd have to have to Google it. If anyone wants to go check the source forums for Sylvan Plug and tell if if, if it is Sir MTG. Oh god, we need some fucking zombies. We need them now. What a small world the online legacy community really yeah, is. Yeah, I guess so. That's seven. We're dead next turn. I think we are. Not voting well. <clears throat> Good nine. I mean, I guess if we just draw dark depths, we're okay. Ish. Oh, I drew a stage. Okay. Another okay, one. So we can get Rashad and Paul, the Verdant Catacombs, and the Thespian Stage. And we can make a draw out with a Thespian Stage and then block. No, we can't because it taps to do so. Have we got enough things Another to stop the zombies yet? 
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have. We'll make two zombies. So that's something. That gives us some blockers. Sylvan plug, like Sylvan library, but with the word plug stuck on the end of it. Any reason for that particular name? Uh, because it's a Sylvan library and the idea is that you're plugging up the, the, the game with like chalices and shit. And the place chokes, so the whole idea is you're plugging like water and blue. There's also a giant Christmas tree in France back in like 2009 or wherever it was a thing. There's a whole source thread on it. Um, the reason Chalice got blown up, kids, is because Apop Decay cannot be counted. Okay, so we need to get back three unique clans. We're going to go Ancient Tomb, Thespians, Verdant Catcombs, and any one of these other two because we've only got one. So Thespian Stage. We're going to play three lands this turn. Uh, so, and if we crack the Verdant, we should also get another land out of that, a forest, right? So this, this is unique. Mm -hmm. This is unique. Let's make a zombie. Okay, the zombies might just get us there. Verdant, another zombie. Sweet. Then we crack this for a basic forest. I assume there's one on the list. I, I, I haven't looked closely enough at the list. Uh, we've got a Tager in play. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we've got seven lands in play, so it doesn't matter what we get here. But we'll get a basic forest so that we have a basic green source against potential wastelands. There you go. That's 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 how good Fear of the Dead is, kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is when you can play that many lands at a turn. <laughs> I mean, in standard right now, it's doing the similar sort of shit, right? Uh, True. Let's tap target land. Let's tap this land, I guess. Now, they've got a Sylvan... They've got some scavenging goose. They can eat the Verdant. They didn't eat the Verdant. Okay. Four mana. Is this a calm? Don't be a con. If we get last locked, I'll be so pissed off. Charles on two. <laughs> oh, magic, magic, magic. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No attacks. Interesting. Because we can double block down this one, I guess. Uh, and they failed a land drop. So, do we bother we dredging this? Crawl away Not out this. Really? No, because the Charles on two, we don't want to draw abrupt. Okay, we can now gamble for abrupt decay. But there's a good chance we discard it. How Risky fucking... Business. So, oh, we can also go for Dark Depths. But we can't play... Oh, fuck. Do we gamble for Dark Depths or Abrupt Decay? If I gamble for Dark Depths and we don't discard it, we just fucking win? But there's a 50% <laughs> chance. Do it. Let's do it. Risk it for the biscuit. Go big. Yep. Okay. Oh, my goodness. We, we came here to summon Merit Lage. Oh, I'm so fucking nervous. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Dark depths. Here we go. Here we go. Dark depths. Ah! Yes. Oh, we get to make a fucking moral age, bitches. <laughs> 50 50. Don't tell me the odds, kid. <laughs> fucking Jesus. Oh, oh my days. Okay. Oh. Right. Yeah. Now we have to think and be careful. So. If we make a Merit Lady and they play a crack... Oh, no, they've scooped. Because what we had to do there was we had to make a Merit Lady on their end step and see if they had a Krakus or Green Man up. Because Green Man up, they could crop rotate into it. But, because they're Sylvan Plug and not a Loam deck, they're not playing crop rotation. Because they're a Chalice deck, they're playing no one drops, right? So we we're okay with crop rotation, but if they just played a random Krakus in the deck. Because the deck is normally green, splashing white or black, or sometimes both. Because they play, like, four copies of Night of Autumn and stuff. Okay, their post pull match is going to get a lot better because they normally have chokes and, and shit that they don't want in the pre-board game because they've yep. really hedged against beating like, the blue decks. Okay? Fucking... Oh, that was so good! 50-50, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking gamble. Fucking... One mana that demonic tutor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Force of Vigor is really good. I've just realised... So normally, the land decks that I've played will play between two and four copies of Crocent Grip. It's split second card that really fucks with things like uh, D&T and other shit, right? Right now, we don't have any Crocent Grips. So we can sideboard into a second Abrupt Decay and a Force of Vigor. Um, against their creature deck, we probably want Drop of Honey. But I guess the matter is where you bring Drop of Honey and you don't bring in Tireless Trackers. But I kind of want Trackers too. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I played this before Force of Vigor was printed, so the hot like, Crocent Grip just might be very outdated for lands now. Um, Neo likes the I spheres, think, but I don't know if I do. 
I don't like the spheres. I think we should go on the drop of honey plan and just, you know, stall out along with the combo off. That would be my. It's actually really bad with field of the dead, isn't it? I guess if we're, but if we're okay. Because mm. it's also going to kill our zombies, not their three twos. Well, I mean, if we bring the drop of honey, we have to commit to the merit lage plan, I guess. Yes, k is still good at his blood moon decks. Yeah, indeed. Okay, so they're creature decks. We don't want to cut our punishing fires or our decays. Our yeah. Sylvan Library is fine. So maybe I trim I trim two drops because the fucking the whole chalice thing. <laughs> yeah. A chalice on one's pretty bad, but chalice on two is back breaking. Mm -hmm. I trim tr trimming two loams feels awful. Oh, it doesn't feel right, does it? Well, I might trim one expo. No, one mana bond. We're not mana bonding against this deck, are we? Or are mm, we? No, we're not. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't even know which matchups the mana bonding is good. It's for fast combo, right? I guess it's better on the play as it's well. Better because, like storm and stuff. Or... Yeah, like if you're trying to combo fast than them, yeah. yeah. But against storm, you really want to play a turn one sphere of resistance. That's like the 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 the, the idea against storm. So if you're mana bonding your hand away, then you're not you're not doing that, right? Minus three gamble, bring creatures. That's what Jack Battle says. So Jack, would you not bring? Oh, it's too late now. So Jack, would you not bring in Drop of Honey? Oh yeah, we should trim some lands. I think it wasn't Elves Mega Chirp, It's Sylvan Plug. Okay, this card's gas against Sylvan Plug if they don't go playing their fucking chalice. Let's keep this. Oh yeah, Mega Chirp, you you missed me like with one card in hand. Gamble for Dark Depths and keep the Dark Depths and then kill them. <laughs> 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 oh, that's not fair. Okay, they've been mulliganed to six, so they're probably mulliganing to a chalice or similar. Yeah. So Chrome Mox, ditch a green card, land chalice on one. Which would be great for us because we have a handful of no one drops. Yeah, we're going to thread the needle here. Yeah, I guess Once Upon a Time is pretty good against... Uh, oh, this is a pretty good kill for us. Um, yeah, <laughs> Once Upon a Time is pretty good in Southern Plug. Exploration. Interesting. So we go Tega, Exploration, Mox, discard a forest... A uh, bay... No, a forest. No, we go Bayou. Exploration. Play us. Second land for the turn. Mox Diamond. Then we want to discard... I guess we're still looking at Basic Forest because I think they are a Wasteland deck. So ditch one Grove, keep the other one. And then tell this guy that he is no longer wanted here. Give him his P60. It's a Bayou! What the fuck? How do you pronounce this, Rob? Do you see Bayou? Uh... Another one. Yeah, I would say by you. If I was if I was if I was running a Call of Cthulhu uh, game in the deep south, I would call it the Bayou. Look, look, Baywatch happens in a Bayou. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ! On a bike. They're gonna go get a lattice, aren't they? And we're gonna lose. Oh no, Tom script. Okay, we're gonna get rid of our punishing fire right here, right now. Right here, right now. I guess this deck has got a lot of toys that I hadn't considered, like. This. I mean, it's a bit mavericky, isn't it? I, mean, it's got, I it's do got like nice, that deck, but... It's got a nice little fun. collection of... Maybe yeah, play that game where if they, the moment they crypt, we get the punishing fire back. <laughs> so now it's just a Mexican standoff. Until they play the second Tormod's Crypt. Or they play a Soul Land now and they play Mike and Siflatis and we're like, Well! GG. <laughs> oh, don't fucking last lock me for the love of God. Anything but that. I hate Khan so much. I also play him in mono red, but that's not the point. It's still yeah. a fucking lane card. Yeah. They'll never equip liquid metal coating, so they're gonna kill my lands. Okay. So our best possible draw is another Grove of the Burn Willows. Yes. Or a Loam, because then we can Loam and then we'll probably crack in response and then we gather the Punishing Fire. Okay, that's a Deaths. They'll just kill that with this if they... Yeah, so we need to... Hmm. 
Ugh. Look at all the lands we've got in play. We're winning, right? That's how Legacy Lands wins. With lands. That is what I've been told. Which which land would you kill with liquid... What, what permanent of Zero CMC would you kill with liquid metal coating here? Permanent. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Because... Yeah, you've got all the colours of mana you need, so the mox is pointless. You've only got one card in hand. Well, the mox great. doesn't currently work. Oh, shit. That's oh, well, on the upside, they've got their sixth mana now that this is not a place where they can down tick. Mm -hmm. They've just tapped for six colourless mana. Green suns for five. Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> what five drop is this? Titania. Oh, boy. Ooh. Tasty. They're going to make two five threes. John is touching himself. No, well, John died to this at EDH last week, so. <laughs> the, the 1v1 video we did, I wrecked him with like 25 threes. Oh my. I've only, I've only saw half of that video, and he talked to the other half later. The goblins did not put up a good shot. No, Epic Fail, this sees way more play in Legacy than a Six Slime does. So it's funny that you said it the other way around. Okay, let's go and search up the second Tager. Do we want to draw crop rotation or fucking um, loam? Well, that's technically both. Either. <laughs> so if you had to choose, what would it be? Oh. Well, it's loam, right? But then they crack the crypt. Okay, we need to go and crack a crypt now. So we need to... Yes, yeah, so we need to activate Grove. it yes you fucking uh -huh. fool <laughs> <laughs> oh god i wonder if they last like us next turn either way um okay so sure then we play the dark depths and we gamble for loam and we just hope they haven't got a likes and flash lock oh they can't because they down take carnival die Now we get loam, right? And we just have to start loaming. They're going to make a 5-2 yep. on an end step. Oh, I get Karaka. Oh, no, I can't get Karaka. So it's going to have a bin. Anyway, ignore me. <laughs> also, bouncing <laughs> the Titania is pretty bad. How does Dark, uh, yeah. Yeah, how does I mean, Dark yeah, Death survive the Liquid Metal out. Coating? It doesn't have to, because we've got, we've got a Lava Claw. That's uh, not Lava Claw. Lava Claw? Where the fuck did that come from? Life from the loam. Life from the loam. <laughs> lava Claw reaches and lands. Fuck. Well, So actually, the correct thing to do is probably leave that land in my graveyard, like that, that, that fetch. Um, fetch it after then the the lure. But I did it in their end step, didn't I? So. Yeah. I think they played Trin. Oh, they played Trinisphere as well. I think. It's like it's proper a proper lock deck. I have to look at lists again. But I think the idea is that you you can plug them up by um Trinisphere and then like lo uh, wasteland loaming or wasteland crucible on them out of the game. So you say that epic fail, I think, I don't hold me to this, you have to talk to an actual historian of the format, but lands before the Despian stage combo was a, a deck that killed with man lands. Okay, we're going to take 10 here, and then we need to draw some something really good off of this, uh, by draw I mean dredge. Drop of honey and maze of it. Hmm... Millions were still dead though, doesn't it? Thank you for the sub, JPSS92400. Fifth new sub today. We're dead, I think. So we go Life from the Loam, two lands, play them, maze it for 5 3 and take 13. I have seen the, the My Little Pony collector's cards. When I first saw them, I didn't realize they were charities. So I was like, oh, I need to beg Wizards to send me them for my charity stream. Then I realized I'd be asking them to take stuff from another charity to give to me from another charity. I was like, maybe I won't do that. <laughs> but I have seen yeah, them. They're very cool. I think we're dead. Yeah, okay. Huh. Uh, 
Another How one. Side body into this fucking hot mess. Mm. Carson grip would be good because you can blow up a mic in flash. True story. Better than the decay. Uh, before memory, I don't think they slowly removed counters from the stages. I don't think that was a thing. I, I could be wrong, though. Hello, Theodore Witwenmaka77. Uh, we're w in game one, and we're one apiece at the moment. Um, let's go. Tyler's tree. I guess we want to beat the we want to beat the chalices, right? Yes. So I want to bring these in. I think. Cut the bog. Is the bog mm -hmm. any good? Because I think they've got crucible in their deck. They got Titania, so the bog actually isn't terrible. Let's keep the bog and cut. I don't think I like a drop of honey, honestly. Okay. I think we'd be better off making zombos or playing these bodies, right? Mm -hmm. Seems that way. We can like, trim like a... I don't think we need tomb. We've trimmed the punishing fire, so we can trim. Why well, do we want the punishing fires? So we trim like one Tager and a port. Yeah, that's what And that. uh, do we want to trim anything else? A gamble. I think we need the gambles. We want the ghost yes. one, we want the basic, we want the field of de dead, we want the combo, we want the crackers. See you later, Jake. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I don't think cut the take is ever correct. If anyone in the chat knows what they're talking about, don't just say things because you think you do. But if you know what you're talking <laughs> about, tell me if I'm doing it wrong. Maybe trim one stage. There we go. Trim down to 31 one. lands. We've got four lands and added bodies. Don't cut coloured sources. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. I didn't! There's Tagers in your imagination. <laughs> I don't want to cut depth, stages, depth. We're already on three depths as it is. No, two yeah. depths. We're already on two depths, four stages. That doesn't feel right, but obviously this person knows what they're doing, right? I would love to play first. I would love to see some fucking Wastelands at some point. It's the Soulland deck, right? <laughs> right. Definitely well, we're going to keep this because we've got Elvish Reclaimer, Tireless Tracker, and a Fetch Land. So I'm going to go Bayou, Mox Diamond, Discard the Forest. No, we've got Black Source and Mox Diamond, so we go. F no, we don't. It's the only land that makes black other than the fucking Nurturing P land. This deck is hard, Rob. This deck is hard. It's got the field of the dead. The next time we can go tracker and then hopefully play the Verdant Cat comes off and get huge amounts of value. Crit. Oh dear. Well, if we're just drawing cards of tracker, we'll be fine. We can also crack clues instant speed to dredge instant speed to get our loam away from the trauma crypt activations and stuff. That's true. Oof, that doesn't seem like the best start for them. They play a chrome mox or mox diamond out? There you go. Okay. Thank you, Gamner, for the Twitch Prime. I'm not sure, Pleasant Kobe Slave, about the gamble seeing other play. I guess the card's pretty good. Oh my Jesus fucking Christ. Another one. What a fucking joke. Do you know what? I wish Ancient Tomb was in my deck now so I could fetch it up with Reclaimer so I can crack clues faster. Oh.
chance to avoid on two. Okay, looks we've got a win with this Tyler's tracker then. I fucking intend to, too. Oh no, this can't fetch another land, can it? Uh, that's for any forest. We've got any swamps. Correct. Do we have one basic forest? Oh, bollocks. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Otherwise, we can crack two clues here. Um, let's play. What can we gamble for here? We don't want to gamble for two. Well, I guess a prop decay is what we want to gamble for. Yeah, now turn the rest of our deck on, which would be useful. We can also eat the scavenger news as well. Okay. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Da -da 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 -da. Just making sure there's nothing else to go grab. No, it's definitely got decay. We discarded it. Okay, never mind. Oh well. If they block, we just crack the clue, obviously. I'm going to crack the clue anyway. Another one. Can Vern not get Tiger? Yeah, we cut one oh, though. Oh, Drew, of course we can. No, we've got one in there. There's one in the board. Where's the other one? Yeah, there is another tiger. Where, did I not discard a tiger? No, I discarded a field then. There's two tigers in the deck. No, I could have got two lands there then. I'm an idiot. I thought for some reason we'd already played our tiger, but it's a bayou. Shouldn't play the land. Well, I had to play the land for the clue. Okay, oh well. That's fucking stupid. Might be I, right. I brain farted really hard. And I was like, where's my other tiger? Well, wh what else can I fetch? It's this, obviously. <laughs> can only can fetch basics off of that fetch land. I just thought we'd play the sec only tiger, and for some reason also our only bayou somehow. <laughs> so we were wasting on this, they were stuck on two they were stuck on three lands again. We don't want them green setting for Titania, basically. Yeah. They're gonna block with dried arbor here, right? Yeah. I hope they do. Well, they seem wasteland, so they probably can't because the mana problem. No, they did. Another one. Okay. And we're gonna. I keep clicking the fucking tracker. Draw a card. Do we draw an exploration or anything like that? Anything for it? Draw a mock stone that we don't want to use. I think I'm just wastelanding them here. We have one ghost quarter, three ports. It might be four ports actually. Scavenger is now three three. It's out of control! No, our field of the dead. No! Next time they're going to have to block the... Well, no, they're not going to have to block the screws, but this track is getting very fucking big. Do I sack a land to go find a land with my reclaimer? I guess I don't, I don't want to draw... Far, it? Well, I don't want to draw any more lands, do I? True. I can also bog them so if they draw Titania it's worse. I could also get a blast zone and blow up the scoots. Very slowly, yeah. Well, not slowly, we can do it next turn, couldn't we? Oh, yeah, that's fair, yeah. Right. Do I bog them? One, two, three. They're miles from Titania. Oh, no, one Soldan, but it's not Titania. So, bogging, 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 bogging. We've got a Tager in there, haven't we? Or do I port? I think I get a port. I trimmed a port during our sideboarding. So I think it's four ports. Don't you dare dismember my fucking Tyler's Tracker. That would be the absolute worst. Don't do it. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, that's what it is. Pass the 
Just pass. Don't. Don't. Oh, <laughs> fuck. They got one card in hand. They paused a long time on that. Oh, it's making me clench. <laughs> we drew exploration, so we can go Grove with a Burn Wallace for Colorless Mana and get a clue. We can go Green Mana, Exploration. Oh, is there, so there's three ports and I cut one, so we've got two ports in the deck. Then we're going to go Combat Attack. No blocks. So I guess I up the clock by cracking one clue. Go and get Integra. I'm going to port them this turn as well. Draw land. Pretty good land too. But I'm going to play the Mox Diamond and just ditch the land to it because then we can crack a clue. <laughs> <laughs> it does the job that it's trying to do there and then in their upkeep let's port a land tabernacle them chokes the oh tabernacle them might do more for us right yes I mean we've got way more mana than they do I'm going to port them no I'm not I'm, gonna... I'm running out of time here as well I need to be careful Sacrifice this Tega. Go and get. Tabernacle? Where is it? There. Just $1,500 worth of card. <laughs> you just misplace it. I thought. So that's basically a port there, right? For this turn? Yeah. And then we have to pay, which will cut. If I get clocked, I've got four and a half minutes to kill them, and they're on eight, and our tracker is. Literally massive. It's also unkill. It doesn't die to dismember here. It's what a clue activation at. Get depths. You have four minutes. Oh fuck! That's a very good point. I'm about getting tabernacle. Why didn't I just get port a depths there? Right. Um. Oh, they scooped. Yeah. Why did okay. I get depths there? I don't know. Okay. There you mm. go. Cool. Lands is complicated, but it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. We had a stage of play, didn't we? Over those two turns, though, I could have got... Yeah, I could have got it together. That's what the fucking thing is for. Right, okay, that was good. That was good. Let's go again. Okay, we got this. Chat, did I have a thespian stage in play? And now it's where half a chat say yes and half a chat say no, and we'll never really know. <laughs> I think I'm okay with Lance Mono Hell, Naki. I just think I um, have to take a lot of time to think it through. And that's what I'm scared of on stream, right? Because we're going to be talking away, joking around, and I'm going to fucking punt it. Yeah. Well, we end up with, suddenly we've got two minutes to finish off match three. Yeah, okay. as, that, yeah. as that was the case there, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for the sub. Who was it, though? Because my, my chat's playing up. I'll check now in my live events thing. Hmm. Thank you to winmore dot no that's winmore dot com you followed. Thank you anyway winmore dot com. But hate the hippos for the sub. Don't know why my chat wasn't telling me that. In we go. How, Rob, how are you today? We didn't we get to catch up at the beginning, did we? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Uh, I've just uh, finished another day at work, which is always good. And uh, yeah, everything's good in my world. Thank you for asking. How I've are you? started how watch. Was... I've started listening to a D and D podcast, which has made me more excited Ooh. for us to play some D and D. I've been listening to not Excellent. another D and D podcast, and it's actually really good. Cool. So, um, I do recommend it. It's very silly, but the uh, the three players playing are like they play in character very well. Um, yeah, it's just funny. So I want, I want, and it makes you think. Oh, we could, me and Rob could do this. So eventually we will. <laughs> I mentioned this in chat earlier, so I hope, I'm thinking of doing a D and D. Oh, it's probably going to end up happening at the beginning of next year because I want to play with you a little bit, play in my own campaign as DM, and then figure out from there where to go with content for it. That's the plan, anyway. That makes sense. How is your D and D campaign going? Going well? Uh, yeah. Well, we're playing uh, Hyper Lanes, which is the uh, the space campaign. Oh, is it uh, is it D twenty though? Is it like a D ten system or what? It's yeah. It's it's fifth edition ported into space. Oh no, Rob! We haven't played it's Burn and Legacy for years, oh, right. and the moment I pick up lands, it's fucking Burn. <laughs> Burn is a very bad matchup because price of progress hurts a lot. We need to combo as fast yes, as possible. Yes, Fuck me. 
It's a Selvan Library. Okay, 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 okay. I guess Selvan Library gets us closer to combo and quickly. This ancient tomb looks bad, so we're gonna go Tega Exploration Mox Diamond Ditch the Tomb Play the Grove Carlos Green Sylvan Library See, this um, is pretty good. So we've got a removal for all well, their... Well, we're out from under an Eidolon, because we've shit a load of stuff onto the board. Um, we're going to get bolted now at under 17. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Wastelands are good, as, as Naki says, because you can Wasteland yourself as a key strategy against Price of Progress. They'll reduce the damage by four. Are you running the Zuran Orb? That's the question. No. It's just not a thing. <laughs> I mean, if you're expecting a lot of burn in your, mat in your meta game, it's actually probably really fucking good. Okay, we're down to 14. Library triggers. Oh, but you bog. Oh, fuck, it's so useless. I guess it stops Barbarian Ring. Uh, would I like to use this ability? I would. Yes. Thespian stage. Good, good, good. I don't feel like paying for life, but now we're like straggling with like shit off our library. I feel like paying for life. Oh. What? You want to pay for life? It's burn! They only have three cards oh. in hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So they did mulligan. I'm going to end of their turn. I'm going to punish him fire them and return to the hand and do a total of one damage. Fucking get wrecked. Oh, no. Go to 11. Go on. Rely on Goblin Guide to get the job done. Go on. <sighs> right. Oh, and I put, I put the land on top, didn't I? I'm so good at this game, Rob. You ready? Yeah, buddy! <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Where's, the, where's my fucking soundboard? Where's my fucking MLG horns? A, B, C, D, F, G. What the fuck's my MLG horns? It's not called MLG horn? What the fuck's it called then? Oh, there we go. That was a one-off. Chat, tell me if that was very loud, because I will make it quieter for the next time I use that. Right, and then we're going to go red and one. And we're going to punish and fire this. Now we can get it back by paying red. But that does put on 21, so we can't merit legends. We still need to hit him with another punishing fire. Look at that, kids. That's why punishing fire is banned in modern. It's fucking obnoxious. <laughs> okay, come on, loam or crop rotation or dark depths. Oh, yes! Yes! Okay, great. Fan fucking tastic. Put on top of library. Put on top of library. Play this. Bog them. No barbarian rings for you, sir. <laughs> don't forget to play around Chaos Warp. I don't know if Anakin is trolling or if it's just new tech. I assume he's trolling. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we are kind of dead to spell plus price of progress, FYI. So one... T I shouldn't put that bog. That bog just made their damage higher. God, I'm so bad at this game. Well, let's not fuck the combo up. So, let's go and say, Thespian Stage, I choose you. Cast... What's the, what's the spell where they copy something else that a Pokemon does? Uh, mimic or copycat. C c Use copycat! Or mirror move. Oh my god, price of progress. I shouldn't put that bar. Ugh. I go to one now. Do they have another burn spell? Oh no. So this copies. Oh no. They did, oh, they're just doing it. And then I keep the one with no counters on it. Yep. And then that triggers. And that makes it 20 20. Then we untap, punch and fire on them, and kill them. If they're slow rolling me, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> Don't draw those extra cards. Put on the bottom of library. Put on the bottom of library. And then we're going to go... Attack. Just make the token in response. Labib, they'll never cast it. <laughs> and they've scooped. Okay, they've never got poison. Yes. yes, we took game one of each burn, which is fucking rough. It's such a rough matchup. It's unfucking real. Oof. Chat, you can you can you can lick this balls uh, ball sack. I don't know why I asked a ball sack. 
Is that like a, like a, like a victory thing? A victory lap, but you're lapping at my balls. No, I mean, you're, the, you're the winner, wherever you want, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are these any good against them? I don't think they are, are they? I don't think so, no. Doesn't Glacier... Yeah, Glacier Chasm is great in this matchup. We don't have any. <laughs> Uh, right. Creatures in. Just Zuron Orb. Zuron Orb plus Splendid Reclamation is where it's at. Yes. <sighs> All the cool kids are. Burn can beat Glacial Chasm. They can't beat a Glacial Chasm loop. That's the important yes. bit. So bring in our bodies. I'm probably bringing... I don't want to have to care, I'm not sure. We're going to cut a few shit cards. So, we're going to cut... I'm going to keep two in so that we can, we can on a crop rotation hand, like, turn one combo them. Because you can, you can go, like... Uh, I think it's worth it. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's the fast combo idea, right? Because we just need to kill them. Yeah. And then we need to play... The new Ogre probably would be it. Yes, mismatch and decays. So Borg is fucking useless. Let's get rid of that shit. Another one. Feel the Dead is too slow. And it's a tapped land too. And Caracas does nothing. I think we want everything else. God, if they blood moon me, I'll be so fucking mad. Yeah, the skull crack beats Chasm as well. Burn can beat Chasm. Burn is favoured against lands for the most part. I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that. Ports of Suspect as well. Not if they keep one or two landers and you just like get them. Support's not terrible. Ghost Quarter is though. Because they have a lot of basics. How do you loop chasms? Oh, that's a good question. So you have to let the chasm sack to its own trigger and then loam it back. So there is a there's a space. So you have to sorry, no. There's a window where they can hit you if you do it that way. So that's a simple way. The better way is where you uh, Thespian stage your own Chasm in response to the cumulative upkeep trigger, let the original Chasm die, loam it back, play it, and so on and so on and so on. You have to Chasm... So, like saying Chasm Low Exploration, that's the simple way that they can kill you. You have to go Chasm Thespian stage to not die. Otherwise, they can shoot you in between. Okay. Abrupt Decay, Reclaimer, Life in the Loam. Wasteland's basically just a colourless land in this matchup. We've got loams, we keep it, right? Yeah. We've got no, we've got no fast mana though, that's the problem. But Reclaimer will find our combo, so that's basically a three life gain card, because I have to shoot it. Yes. And if we draw Mox Diamond or Exploration, we are living the high life! Suspend Rift Bolt? <laughs> yes, yeah, Suspend Rift Bolt. Okay. So that can be. So look, we didn't talk about this last time. That, that can be a bad hand from Legacy Burn. Here's, here's a deck I've also played a bit of, and played more recently than that, because you want recurring yeah, damage sources. Someone... Your turn one should be a man. Like, well, this is okay. No, it's not okay. It's, yeah, your turn one should be just a, a recurring damage source. Not a fucking yeah. bolt, ideally. Exploration? Well, if you insist. Let's okay, do it. I'm probably going to put them on 21 here, aren't I? Fetch a forest. But then I can't decay in any way, can I? So do I have to get a baby? But then I'm open to price. But we'll have a wasteland up soon. So wasteland actually is a life gain card in this, in this deck. Okay, that'll probably just be a three life gain spell we just cast. Beautiful. Actually, yeah, maybe we won't go score over one of our wastelands for ourselves, Labib. You might be right, so we can go score ourselves and still find the forest. What's the opinion on Maverick and Legacy right now? I can't say, I haven't played a whole lot of Legacy lately. My two week off period, I played no more than a no Legacy. All I did was play Standard on Arena and uh, Limited. Um, so I'm kind of back to it after a little break, which is nice. One. I had Land of the Great Revels. I wish... Oh, no. I was say I wish I got my Bayou now, but I did get my Bayou because I'm not a moron. Okay. Good. <laughs> I mean, contrary to how it sounds, I'm not a moron. Okay. We're going to play this Wasteland. Keep it up. We're going to pass them. We're we'll Decay in combat because they might play another creature so they at least get shot and that takes them down below the Grove damage. I think I need to submit what I'm playing on Wednesday for the LPL as well. I don't think I've submitted anything. It probably won't be Lands. <laughs> <laughs> Why not play out port? Because Wasteland can block one of our own things. 
What what upside is there to port over wasteland here? Zero. Okay, they are clever. Like like the like the what's a clever animal? A fox. Fox. Oh, exploration, derp. Okay. Thank you, Neo. The point is I forgot I had exploration. That's why I didn't play my port. <laughs> and if I ported them here, nothing would have happened, so I'm not gonna get punished. Oh, they would have cast they would have not suspended Rift Bolt, okay. God, I'm so good at this. Well, there you go! Rewarded! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so good at this game. So good at this game. Okay. <laughs> that said. Do we not just want to play our dude in life and life? That's going to put them on 23. They're on one card in hand, Rift Bolt in the Exile Zone. If we play Reclaimer, it dies. If we play Tracker, it probably dies, right? Yeah. So, what are we happy with dying? Probably the Tracker, because the Reclaimer gets us closer to comboing. No, maybe... Well, Tracker draws a lot of cards. Oh, it's hard! I think it's... The Reclaimer's more, like, towards the combo, and the combo's how we win, but... Mm. They might not even shoot the Tracker because we're on 11. Combo. Okay, at least we've got a clue now to get our life on the loan back if they have Surgical or if they have Crypt out of their board. Want to keep up Wasteland? We can't keep up Wasteland if we want to get a clue. The, the priority there was to get a clue. If We died a price of progress, but we, we basically died a price of progress regardless. Because if we're Wastelanding ourselves, we're getting no closer to killing them. Idle on the Great Rebels. Okay. That's going to be painful to deal with. Okay, very close to combo now, but it cost us four life to do it, Rob. Whew. Layla is their grave here. Okay, I'm that's good to know, me. Anarchist, so we don't have to necessarily play around surgical or anything. Okay, um... I guess we have to just play Reclaimer? And go to six? We don't have Chasm in the deck. This is the number one deck from Philadelphia Star City Legacy Open, and they're not playing Chasm. They are not. Because clearly they weren't expecting Burn either. <laughs> we have to play something, don't we? Yes. Nope. That's my shopping, BRB. No worries, buddy. Do we need to, like, go get Blast Zone with the crop rotation and, like... I think we have to do this, don't we? Hoo-hoo! Let's go to six. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. They've drawn a card. It probably won't kill us, though. That's the main thing. It's the next card after is that. It's always the last card that kills you. As they used to say in my house. Probably shouldn't have tapped my wasteland there. That was bad. That was bad sequencing. Well, we don't want that. Okay. Okay. Aha! Three okay. Fairies have arrived. We can so, combo kill them, but we have to go to f four to do it. Well, four is higher than three, so we. But should they'll be have. Fine. But they'll playing. have. They'll have two cards in hand. That's the problem. If they have one card in hand, I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Oh, they played a land. Oh, I don't think. So, 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 so. so. There's, there's the cards they could have: a price of progress, and I believe I've seen lists that have played fucking. Um, what's the skull? Oh, what's the skull crack? But's four damage for three mana. From um, uh, Kamigawa. Oh, Flames of the Blood Hand. Yeah, I saw that in a list recently and I was like, that's fucking absurd. Because oh, obviously. What a card. I love that card. That's when four skull crack isn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> so. But I doubt they'll have that. And I don't think. Um, what's the other one? Exquisite Firecraft. Is that instant or sorcery? Uh, sorcery. Okay. That's the uncounterable 
red, red. Wood. Also, when we combo kill them, it doesn't kill them because they'll be on 22. Oh, we have to attack oh. with everything. Okay, that's what we have to do. So yeah, end of turn. We need, okay. to, we need to tap this for mana. Yes. And then tap this for mana and this for mana. And then we're going to sack the grove. Oh, yeah, there's also Fire Blast, of course. Oh, of course, that infamous <laughs> Thank spell. you, Jeff, for pointing that out. <laughs> that's, that's not that they actually commonly play in the main board. I'm talking about some fringe cyborg shit. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so bad at magic. Oh, dear. Okay. The that other thing is, fine. I could just not cast this crop rotation and we get there sooner. Hmm. Getting get... sooner is good. Oh, yeah. So they... Oh, fuck. I mean, we're right up against it. we got to go, like, as hard as we can. Because we're just going to lose otherwise. But we could fade stuff. Oh, fuck. Unlikely. Like, really, really, really unlikely. Okay. Oh, no, hang on. Undo. We can't make the Marit Lake this turn anyway. Because that's how the Reclaimer works. So there's no point in crop rotating now. Hmm. I drew a tiger. Made a clue. Untap. Draw the Thespian Wait. stage? No. Okay. Apparently we can. No, we couldn't. We, with mana floating. Oh, shit! Shit, I'm getting confused. So, oh, fuck. Elvish Reclaimer... Doesn't brings the card into play tapped. Crop rotation doesn't. And because I just right. used Reclaimer in my head, I was thinking this made a tap land. Which it doesn't, because I crop rotate the Chaos Cradle in decks all the time. Oh dear. And then on our turn, I've got the depths. Yeah, you are right, Labib. You are right. Okay. So. Draw a card. And I can draw a card and I can crop rotate this and block this and it only takes six. Ugh, that's bad. Um, fuck, I yeah, I should have made the 2020 now. Guess we attack the tracker now so the 2020 is lethal. Yeah. And then we can maybe. block th this with this, right? Yep. Do some more fading and pray for success. 300th punt. Yes! It took me like a year and a half to get to 300 punts. That's almost a punt a day. Fuck me. That's enough punts to hold back the Persians. Fucking hell. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, Anarchist Aid. I should have got the stage first. It's five then. Okay, don't bolt me an instant, my friend. Please don't do it. Woof, okay. I don't know what else they've got. Maybe it's just... Oh, it's another land in hand. Now they've got one card. Oh. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? The attack with the idle on. If we crop rotate during combat, that's a bad idea, right? Yes. Negative says I think it's the fire blast. Okay. Okay, let's go to blocks. Block here. It grows with yeah, three okay. in the yard, right? So now I'm going to just activate himself and grow him and we kill the Eidolon. And then we can stay above four. I think they've not realised. I think we need to stay above four. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're doing this because they've, they've messed it up. Now it's a 3-4, so the item will die, and now we can crop rotate freely, right? Yes. And then we can crop rotate this stage into an untapped stage and just make a Marit Lage. So now we kill the Reclaimer. The Reclaimer kills the Eidolon. That seems like a punt from them. End of turn. Unless they're slow rolling us and they've got Price of Progress in hand, but there's no way to play around that. No.
And like I can say this dude actually top eight the legacy challenge. So that's weird that they made that mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. They might just be tired, to be fair. Yeah. Busy all they day. think you might have chasm. This is price progress, isn't it? Oh no, they tapped you, madam, and scooped. <laughs> the bastards! Ooh. They made my heart flutter and skip a beat. Woo! <laughs> that is true. They could think we have chasms. They might be playing on us, crop rotating into chasm. It could be all sorts of things going for their head. That could have been. I can't win from this this bit because they're going to dark death me. So I'm just going to swing for the little sake of it, you know. Um, but like I said, everyone makes mistakes. Like even like you watch a channel fireball video, like with Reed Duke or LSV, you will see a mistake at some point. If you watch a channel fireball video with me, you'll see many mistakes. So my point is, everyone makes mistakes to varying degrees and the varying amounts, right? But I'm gonna grab a little bit more water. Rob, you can shout at chat for like thirty seconds while I grab some water. Is that okay? Hey. I might let my dog out as well. But right, back in two seconds. Alrighty. Hello, chat. It's been a while. Ask me anything. That's what we do here. While Vince is off getting water, please don't shout at me. You came to the wrong stream if you don't want to get shouted at, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> pizza, what pizza would he be? Uh, he would be the... The Domino's uh, ch cheeseburger pizza. Um, Rob, Joker movie, good or bad? Don't know, haven't seen it. Who would win a wrestling match between you, contest between you or Vince? Um, Vince. He has the the people's beard, which is like the people's elbow, but more powerful. It can't ever. Kiki Tiki Mirror Breaker. Do you play instruments? Um, music is my biggest failing. Um, I'm. I was really good at playing lots of musical instruments when I was younger, but I basically gave up. So. Yeah. Uh, what was your favourite punt out of the previous 300? Um, uh, oh, playing into... Uh, every time we've played into our own chalice is always, always the best. I'm pretty new here. How do I know Vince? Uh, I met Vince at uh, university. I was his dungeon master. He got me back into playing magic. And yeah, we've been friends ever since for a very long time now because university was a long time ago for us old Rinky people. Rob, isn't Rob the best name? Um, I like it. It's a good name. I like the fact that my name, my full name, has multiple um, versions. So you can, you can, you know, you can, you can take whatever Robert variant you want. Do you like the cha cha naked in the rain? Uh, I've never done the cha cha naked in the rain, so I couldn't possibly say. Show you your favourite punt was the Green Suns. Into oh yeah, that was that. Yes, Green Suns into Shadow of Doubt was quite spectacular because we have spent at least 30 seconds discussing Shadow of Doubt and playing around it for one thing and then just Green Suns straight into it. That was very funny. Would be interesting to watch you and Vince play D&D. Yes, a lot of people have expressed that and we are trying to figure out how best to do it. Um, we're currently looking to other people for inspiration on how to do the setup right because we want to make a good experience for you guys to watch. What's your favourite tribe? Can't use cleric zombie. I like that out of context. Dungeon master sounds way more exciting. It does, you know. Sometimes you want to, you know, you want a bit of uh, a bit of dom sub action in your uh, in your world. It's all good. Uh, wie gut spricht du Deutsch? Uh, my German again. My German was better at university. I did an exchange, and I I I did a. Meet a lot of nice German people, so yeah, good, but not as good as it used to be. Episode, uh, episode one, a lot. Uh, where were you in Germany? Dusseldorf. What is your favourite car from Eldrain, and why is it Rankel? Well, I really do like Rankel, but recently, for reasons that will become apparent very soon, I've been playing a lot of the Great Henge. And that car is just busted. It's so good. I looped a, um, uh, used Greater Good and Woodfall Primus to just loop it, blow up all the lands and drew the whole, my whole deck. It was awesome. Do I own a legacy deck? Yes, I own legacy lands. It took me about two years to build it because I am poor. And it's but, the cheapest deck in the format. You said lands, Rob. <laughs> Rob, you said lands. Did I say lands? Uh -huh. I meant burn. I meant Legacy Burn. Because Lands isn't the cheapest deck in the format. No, yeah, Lands is one of the expensive. Sorry, I have, 
I have the Great Engine Commander. Hell yeah. Salutations, yeah, Voxy, and welcome to the stream. We're just chilling between rounds, talking about EDH. I'm eating some jerky, and it really smells ah. bad. It's because it's jerky, it usually does. It's so yeah. tasty, though. <laughs> I ran, I did exercise, Rob, for the first time in eight months. No, in eight months. I ran once eight months ago. I ran again. It was, I got like nostalgic of when I ran before. And I realised I used to run regularly before my YouTube channel had any views. Because I, I was like, remembering where I was in my life when I last ran. <laughs> Running through the tears of having no friends. So yeah, it's no when, I, when I worked for the bank. and I like When Pokemon Go was big. Yeah, jerky's fucking good. What colour is the best to play in modern D&T in addition to white? Green! I've been saying it for green. years and I still stand by green. it. Uh, secondly is black. Vince, what was your favourite punt from the last 300? Fuck, that's hard. Uh, Megachurf brought up the Green Suns into Shadow of Doubt. That, that was, was pretty good. Th that was pretty spectacular. <laughs> there was also that time that I Eldritch Evolutioned into our own cage. Do you remember that? <laughs> and I was like, oh. Fuck. And then there's also a time that I accidentally misstepped my own misstep because I thought I was targeting their force. Oh. That's pretty special. <laughs> you, were, you were there for both of those, right? Yes, I was. Yeah, Another I think we. One. I think it's time for a little bit of a retrospective, a bit of a clip show. I think so too. Three hundred, three hundred pants. Uh, vise of the punt, punty. I don't fucking know what I'm saying. <laughs> right, it is round three. <laughs> Our hand one. looks fucking gas. I am going to wasteland the ever loving shit out of this blue player, and I hope they scoop. Okay, I have no ill will towards this player, but I just want to blow up some fucking lands and watch my opponent cry about yeah. it. So I'm going to go Grove of the Burn Willows. Oh, fuck. Because we've got... Another one. Grove of the Burn Willows. If we don't Mox Diamond with this Wasteland... We might have a problem. We want to draw another land. Yeah. That would solve the issue. So then go Grove, Exploration, Mox Pitch a Land, Wasteland another you. One. And then just screech to all high heavens about how great a magic I am. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, jump off for five. Of course, my friend. I'll be right back. Ooh, okay. So I'm going. Another one. Mox the grove into waste gamble. Yeah, I'm moxing the Caracas. I'm going... I wanted to make red off of this. Yeah, let's go red. No, undo. I want to... Okay, sequencing. Wasteland. Wasteland them, because fuck your lands, buddy. I fucking love Wasteland. It's like my favourite magic card in the world. Look, the Crackers was new, Vince. I didn't know that in our opener. Oh, okay, cool. And saying play around days. That is playing around days. I can't daze if they ain't got any lands, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Gamble for loam. And then if we pitch anything here, we're happy. But we'd rather pitch the loam or the land. Oh, no, we don't want to pitch that land. That'd be fucking awful. Good. What do we pitch? Exploration? Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to go Mox Diamond, pitch the Grove, Life from the Lone Wall, three lands back to hand, and Wasteland them again. And so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Bruce just knocked the door and looked startled. It's alright, boy, that's the door! You knocked it. <laughs> Misty. Ha! This isn't their first rodeo. Oh, we might get fucking dazed here. I'd rather we didn't, if I'm honest. Waste that, send a message. They daze though, it just puts us back a turn, right? Okay, they did not daze. Why are we playing red? For Punishing Fire and Gamble, mainly. 
And traditionally, I said traditionally, conventionally, one copy of Morton Vortex as well, which is a pretty good magic card. Uh, should I have mocks there? I should have mocks there. I was too busy talking about red, wasn't I? I will make sure I loam next turn. Okay. It's a pack of Guilds of Ravnica. My wife wanted to crack a pack. She likes cracking the packs. Opponent is dead. Maybe. Me. Capital letters D E D. We get a basic now. That's when we go squat them. Yeah. Fucking Snowlands. Now nah, they're Storm. Yeah, I reckon so. So I want to get some Ghost Core action on the go, really. Poser? Who? Me or Ch oh, the opponent? Me? I'll be a poser. As in, like, I strike poses. I don't pose in, like, pretending to be something I am not. It's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different kettle of fish. I guess Richard and Port would be good, too. Yeah, I'm going to keep up crops so that we can get their passing flames line, if that's the thing. Dark Depths and Thoris. We also might just want to Dark Depths kill them. That might be a thing. Cast this. Ditch this. Play this. Go green, Caracas, Life from the Loam, this, this, and this. Another one. Oh, the Snowlands. Right, 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 right. I'm with you. So our quotation for two things. One is getting rid of their graveyard, as uh, Anarchist Dave pointed out. And two, actually killing them. I like shuffling a one pack of opened cards to the point that they're absolutely fucking deformed. Like, they are not playable anymore. You're planning on running about Astrolabe not being banned in the next Dice Removal? Ah, uh, so Lido Po, the funny thing is about us recording all at the same time is that the next three or four episodes of Dice Removal are already recorded. We have to do some more evergreen, wider content. We talked about how good modern kind of feels right now. I'm back. Welcome back, Robert. Thank you. Sorry, what are we talking about? Totally Weaver 616 or something. Hey, Vince, thank you for making the content that you do and fostering the amazing community you've built. So, note three Max Diamonds on play makes me moist. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Titan. I appreciate you, my friend. And welcome, welcome. We're playing some lands, my, my friend. It's a pretty fun deck. I kind of want to force them to crack these fetches. So just waste them. Just waste them. That makes sense. Because we're going to loan next turn anyway. Yeah. Let's do it. We're, we're convinced they're Storm, by the way. Right, okay. Yeah, makes sense. A lot of... Cantripping and nothing else. Tripping, yeah, not all that's going I'm expecting oh, something like three basics from them, I think. Uh, April would be tell us exactly how many is played by which versions and shit, wouldn't they? But... Yes. Okay, let's dredge this loam. I want to hit a ghost quarter. Or a port. Another one. We hit thespian stage, which is not terrible. I guess. So, do we play a Wasteland to keep testing their mana? We can crop rotate into Paducah Bog if they try and, like, Bog kill us. Thank you for the cheer, my friend. And that makes you... Your cheer shared rewards to three others in the chat. I don't know exactly how that works. It's some Twitch thing that I don't understand. But thank you. Thank you, uh, Schultz Cubed. Crop rotation for Ghost Quarter. Yeah, but that takes off our Paducah Bog line. And I think the Bog line is good for stopping from actually comboing. I think the bog line is the right line to go down, so I think we should just keep moving towards comboing off with, uh, but keep the bog in the back pocket. God, I wish we had an exploration. Another and Naki one. is putting more bits out to be in the top spot. <laughs> so, Jazane, did you get something from Schultz Cube there? Did they give you like a drop for like World of Tanks or something? I noticed that was happening in another stream the other day. Preordain. They could also be randomly blue and black show and tell. Which makes me tapping that Caracas very fucking stupid. I should be keeping that Caracas up all the time, really, and tapping my things. Really? 
Who's back showing tail? Yeah, yeah, so they're playing Lin- So there's, there's some variants that are playing Lindor's Vault now. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that card. Oh, that does know. things to me. I love thanks, Wonderland, and thanks for the five months as well. Thank you for watching my great content. I mean, it is pretty great, I'm just going to say it. Cabal Ritual. Right, okay, yeah. chat. Chat, do I bog them now to make the rich, the Cabal Ritual only give them three black? Yes. Because then they can't add nauseam, right? If they're on the ad nauseam mind. Be... If they're going to add nauseam, yeah. Oh, no, will, also... they will be able to add nauseam because they've got one in pool. Or do I do it in response to the Passing Flames? If they got past... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's 50-50. I would not, says Abe. Shots cubed. You can have it when lands is over. This is my jam. <laughs> Welcome. We're enjoying it. We're 2-1 at the moment. Oh, fuck. Do I bog them now? You think I should, Rob? I think so. My gut tells me now. Now, five mana, and then I have no extra mana left over when they add nauseam. They have to hit... I'd wait for Piff, but they might not even have Piff. Wait. It might be a Burning Wish turn, right? It might be like battling to Burning Wish. The pause has given it away a bit. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair, fair comment. <laughs> what would they do after Adnorsum? So what they're trying to do here, Bird Smash, as far as I understand it, and I'll correct me if I'm wrong, is they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna um, add nauseum into mana and try and use that mana, right? If their graveyard's empty, though. Yeah. They aren't the wish deck. They could be the wish deck. Come on. And Storm has been weird lately. People have been playing all sorts of weird shit. He drew too many not to have rituals. Save for the past. Okay. We're going to save it. Chat, if you're wrong, then fuck you. Tez is the wish deck. Exactly. We don't know that. Tez plays both of these things, right? Epic Storm plays both of these, doesn't it? Yeah. I get so confused in the two of them. But not Misty. Oh, it's the lands. It's always the lands people mention. I don't fucking know which version of Storm uses the lands. But thank you, Abe. I appreciate it. So it was Ape or Abe telling us which lands are which. Yeah. Thought sees me. Well, I better crop rotate now then, hadn't I? Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's cast a crop rotation for green. Sacking a Caracas. Safe to say they aren't blue, black, show and tell. Uh, and let's bog them. Fun fact, kids who aren't from Eng England here, bog is a colloquial term for this shit house, the toilet, the porcelain throne. Tanorka, thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome and enjoy the emotes. I've commissioned more emotes to be made, by the way, and, and I'm applying for partner this week. I'm looking forward to Twitch telling me that I'm not good enough. <laughs> Naki's bought more bits to continue this bit war with shots cubed. Who will come out on top? Will there be a random dark horse in the race who comes out of nowhere and shits on the race course? They have now passed with no mana. Okay. Crisis averted for at least a turn. <laughs> yes. Yes, this does suggest they're planning on casting Passing Flames. Uh, like, <laughs> pretty strongly. So let's go put top three cards in my graveyard. Library in my graveyard. Tabernacle, Ancient Tomb, and Caracas. Let's play a... Do I wasteland them? No, I want to play a stage and just make a 2020, right? Because if, mm -hmm. if they go land, Lion's Eye... Cast past in flames, crack the lines either. They can't do fucking anything. No, they can't. They, well, they need to. They need to go back into like a deep ponder loop to sculpt their hand again to go off again. So I think yeah. we'll be okay. But I just want this. We need. We need to put them down because they can come out. They can win out of nowhere, can't they? So. That's, well, that's what I'm trying to establish. Whether I need to stop them from winning now. I think we just make the night age now. If they can win with four cards in hand after three lands, after like losing several rituals to a Bajuka bog, then. I guess we're full power to you, I guess. Yeah. Probably should have loaned, though, as I can do both. But. <laughs> yeah. Because the other thing is, they could have randomly some main board hate for this, or like an edict or some shit. But then we're just, we're just back. We can reset and go again. Okay. Copy Dark Depths. I think they're Dark Depths, right? I'll choose the one without counters, thank you. No counters, yep. Trigger, make a 2020, untap and kill them. Yeah, I'll loan. That's no, I fancy a draw. <laughs> Sweet. Wasteland. Oh, feels good. I haven't wasteland anyone in ages. I haven't played DNT for like a month. Maybe longer, maybe two months since I last played DNT. Okay, we won game one. 
And this is meant to be a very bad matchup for us. Like, super bad. That's, <laughs> that's why we have five okay. fucking sphere Doing effects in the sideboard. Doing well. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. But Jigabog in the main. And the thing is, all the lands variants that I've played in the past have one um, uh, one bog in the side. So having it in the main was actually really fucking good. Right. Let's bring in all this shit. Blah, 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 blah. We don't want Leyline in the Void, right? Leyline seems bad. Oh no, it's good against the Piff line, but it's not good against other things like uh, empty lines off of like mana and shit. Yeah, it's not good against empty lines. It's not great against. It's not great against ad nauseum runs. Well, well. ad nauseum normally results in them trying to win with passing flames. That's what normally happens. So it's an argument that Leyline's okay. We can also we can hard cast Leyline on our deck as well. So maybe Leyline uh, is okay. Yeah. I mean, punishing fire is bad. It doesn't kill anything. And Brock Decay is terrible. Force of Vigor is fun here. I don't think it is, Clone. I know you can blow up in Lion's Eye Diamond and stuff, but... I'm going to try and Warrens. I know they're going to try and Warrens. I know they're going to try to. So, Tabernacle, maybe? Yeah, no, so, so, so like, Warrens we have options for. Like, we can... we can, um, Yeah, Tabernacle. Uh, I was going to say Chasm, but we don't have it. <laughs> Just Tabernacle. <laughs> um... Don't bring in empty versus lands, is what Cyrus's sideboard says. Cyrus's sideboard says, wow, okay, interesting. I would have thought that would be the go to thing to do. They would play out artifacts to go around spheres. That is true, yeah, they'll probably play them. Well, hmm. Well, I mean, I, I guess I get the point of, like, you know, combo faster against lands. Kind of makes sense. Well, you so Agent Tomb and Pajuka Bog and Krakus sometimes in the sideboard slots and lands, and the, the logic that I knew from like talking to Mortimer and shit was that you're bringing your I think you bring your tomb and your bog. Well, you definitely bring your bog in, but I think you bring your tomb in against fast combo as well. Obviously, the logic now is that you play these main board, which obviously served us very well there. The question is whether or not Force of Vigor or Ley Lines are good enough. If they're Cyrus's list, they are minus four Thoughtseize, minus one DP, Dark Petition. Minus one piff, plus two echoing truce, plus two hercules, and plus two vapor snap. Oh, they just want to bounce our spheres, right? Okay, in which case, yeah. I actually think we bring yeah. in our trackers so we can beat the shit out of them as we like. We if we just play this and don't do anything, they don't. You know, we have to play these. And yeah, then we want. I think field of the dead is probably too slow. Blast zone can't kill tokens, so it's just terrible. Maze of Ith? I mean, that's not going to stop like ten gobos, is it? No, it's not. And it's not going to stop any of the other traditional combo finishes, is it? There you go. That's the deck. Do we want Elvish okay. Reclaimers, though? To really Do they speed up our combo? They speed up our combo, and they really stress the removal as well. Oh, we've run out of time. I didn't submit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cool. Looks like we're succeeding this game. <laughs> it's funny, though. The Hercules Recalls won't be very good. <laughs> <laughs> The best way of... Oh, did I hit submit in that last... In that zeros when I noticed the time? Let's have a look. View sideboard. Nope. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we have Mana Bond, Rashad and Port, Field of the Dead, Wasteland and Bajuka Bog. The thing is, I don't really want to ditch my Bajuka Bog. We have no green sources in this hand either. Ah. Oh. We don't have a green source, and we can't crop for the bog, so yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, well, no, we can't do that. Okay, we can crop for the bog. We've got an exploration. We've got a civil library. This looks all right. I'm happy with this. We've got a dead card. We've got a dead card. <laughs> okay, we're going to put one of these on the bottom of our library. Which one's the worst? Probably the Punishing Fire. The deadest. So, well, this yeah, is going to blow up a Lion's Eye. They're going to play Lion's Eyes out ahead of our spheres that we accidentally didn't put into the deck. Don't thought seize myself on library. That makes me so fucking sad. Uh, Chasm works against all burn spells. If I remember correctly, solitary dream. I can't believe I'm fucking just chatting away about sideboard tech and fucked it. Well, we won game one, so we can win game two again. Now that they've got their anti sideboard tech and we've got nothing. Yeah, exactly. That's how it works. They don't sideboard against us. They sideboard against our sideboard. Exactly. We're gonna, we're gonna take it to the next level. Unless they cast like fucking um, what do you call it, Blood Moon. 
<laughs> but we have a Brock Decay uh, against Blood Moon. We just have to have our Mox Diamonds. Yeah. Notably, Kazan doesn't stop tendrils. Oh, is it loss of life instead of damage? Yeah, to prevent damage to Totem something. Going Mox Diamond into life. Li yeah, into library here. I think we are. Okay, well, thing is, we're burning our clock. We've got 15 minutes left to play two games because we're probably going to lose this one because I didn't sideboard in time. I'm going to turn the upkeep stuff off for the moment. Turn it back on later. There's that basic island. Come on, Ghost Quarter. So I think our ideal cards we see off our library are Ghost Quarter and a Loam and another land. Maybe a Verdant. And then I just pay 8 life and just fucking absolutely ruin their day. There's a good chance I just pay 8 regardless, right? So we drew... What do we draw? We're all sub. You're submissive to the might that is Daddy PK. Big Father Kenobi! Mana Bond. Yeah. Okay. Can't fucking shit. Okay. Not great here. I'm probably going to put it back into my library and shuffle it away if that's an option with this library. Mm -hmm. Another crop rotation wouldn't be awful. Well, welcome, GS Umbrian, for being a gifted sub, and thank you for coming back to this chilled out legacy stream. Absolutely. We're just playing lands. I would love to draw more cards. I would love to not have those? Question mark. Interesting. The thing is, like, crop rotation can shuffle our deck. Hmm. I'm going to pay for life. Let's draw through it. Yep. Let's go yeah. green for an exploration. I don't want to do it again, though, because I want to keep crop rotation up. Just want to find a loam, a fetch, a ghost quarter, even a shardon port. Come on! Any of those magical, magical, magic cards. Come on! I might actually... So, I'm trying to put out gameplay all five days this week, chat. So, today I had some modern guard. Uh, I've got a stream video, obviously, on, on, on Wednesday, but I might try and put up on Saturday as well. Friday's going to be a big meme thing. I've also got a lol what lined up where I think I'm going to play Belcher. So I might. <laughs> uh, yeah, buddy. Belcher, really? Even, the, even the, uh, the the Friday deck is just some fucking ridiculous combo deck as well. I'm all for dumb combo decks because it's just... They make for funnier content when you're editing it up short and sharp. I prefer, weirdly, I prefer like mid-range decks in slow plays where I can talk through my lines. Mm-hmm. Anyway, anyway, and then I'm, I was thinking perhaps I might pop up another slow play on Thursday of me playing even modern or legacy DNT. De legacy DNT, I'm not sure because I don't know how good. Well, I don't know, but I've got to figure out what I'm playing on the LPL on Wednesday as well after this. Yeah, definitely. The so is is there any new tech for Belcher that we need to be excited about? Um, or are you just okay, so there is one new card. So I don't think Loaf, I don't think uh, Once Upon a Time is any good. I've chatted about this on my Discord with some Belcher players a little bit. I think Once Upon a Time is good for Belcher in modern Gary's MTG, because in modern you've got seven lands and, like, fucking 20 creatures. But the Legacy version can play Another one one. Iron Crag Ritual. You know, the, the four mana for seven? Yep. You play one on your sideboard. So that if your hand is, like, perfect with a Burning Wish and a Belcher, but you can't hit seven mana, you Burning Wish mm -hmm. for that spell, make the seven mana, and you Belch the shit out of them. Okay, that makes sense. So I think it can be a one of in the sideboard for Belcher, but I'm not a huge Belcher expert. I just played a little bit of it. Maybe a real chance that wasting is, is the correct thing to do. Yeah, maybe. I'm willing maybe. to give it another turn. G 
duress me. Uh, you motherfucker. Okay. Let's go green. Crop rotate my only land. <laughs> Fuck! They were like, they kept a prop decay in post board. Go for stage. No, I think I need to go and get like something to fuck with them, right? Maybe get a fetch band in case your um doors are shit. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe that's right. Okay, let's get Verdant and hope they can't. This might just be like a preliminary test to duress, right? I know Jess, 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 Jessica ups the storm count. Yeah. Jessica duress ups, uh, information. Ups yeah. The, yeah, well, yeah, but also you normally cast on the storm turn because it's an extra spell if you've got the mana. Right. Jurassic Park. Bum bum ba bum bum ba 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 I guess they just take a prop decay here. Yeah, I'm dead to a lot of things here, chat. I'm dead to a lot of things here. I'm concerned to the fact that we might be dead so we can then actually cyborg correctly for game three. <laughs> I hope they haven't got Hercules recall, because if they balance my mox diamond I can't replay it. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be super awkward. Is that how they get us? They're like mana denying the fucking lands deck. That's uh, in modern red pr in modern red prison. Maybe is a jail. I'm not sure, buddy. I'm not, really not sure if I'm honest. Um, one of my favourite things is to flick a wisp a uh, mox diamond when they know they haven't got a land in hand, and then it just comes back to play and gets blown up. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> they are thinking long and hard. If we rip if you lose to Urkos recall. That would be pretty funny. Oh, okay, this doesn't feel good. But again, they could play about ahead of a sphere, but again, you play on. Oh, yeah, this feels like a storm turn. Stream sniper, what the fuck was that, buddy? Let's get rid of that. Is block how I ban people? No, ban is how I ban people. There we go, banned. Bye bye. Just FYI, as a heads up, racism is not tolerated at all in the stream, so don't be a fucking idiot. What's your advice for tattoo itchiness? Um, uh, pantalon? Is it a pantalon that I've used to use? I haven't had a tattoo in like a year. That's the uh, the baby cream stuff, isn't it? Yeah, is it Papanthan? No, no, no. Papanthan's what I got recommended by a tattoo artist using tattoo and it fucked my tattoo up. Do not use Papanthan. Right. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That's why I was straining to remember which way around it was. Tattoo Goo, which I think is just like an English thing that like some that some company made that most, a lot of tattoo parlors in the South use. It's like a little pot of green stuff and you rub it on and it's like, it's so good. I think it's just like some mixture of like Vaseline and moisturizer or some shit. It's good though. Peter recommends cocoa butter. Yeah, I, I would just go with whatever your tattoo artist tells you, if I'm completely honest with it. God, I want some more tattoos. Can Soul Hood or Soul Blade work in modern? Yeah, modern's pretty wide. Like, the problem being that you probably should be playing Urza, Jundletron, or maybe Escape Shift, or Burn. But you can play anything. Well, that's the point. Like, you can always have to play the top tier deck, right? The problem we had with Hogak was even like nothing else could compete. So we're dead. I don't know why I'm, I should probably just scoop because... Well, their clock's lower than ours now. In some sort of weird flip mirror universe. Six six storm count. Just cast tendrils and kill us. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And we'll not waste your time anymore. Okay. So we didn't sideboard correctly because we didn't sideboard okay, at sideboarding all. a go yes i agree so i want to cut mana bond both punishing fires uh maybe one of the decays uh why are we not going to sideboarding what's moto oh fuck's sake moto come on okay so we want all four spheres five spheres 
we probably want all the creatures to distress removal and interaction also just like pressure them then we don't want punishing fires we don't want i don't know if we want decay so we might want to just like maybe leave one in the deck uh tabernacles go into the empty lines we keep that in so we want to cut maze caracas Field of the Dead. I might cut the other decay. Chat, what do we think? Um, I like, don't know. The, the opportunity cost on decay, I think, I think it's quite low. So I don't think it's worth it. You mean... You mean the amount of... The amount of things to target you mean? Yeah, it's pretty low. I mean, like, the chances yeah, of us having yeah. that one decay in our opener... I agree. Opener and, I, agree. You know, screw over. I thought you meant something else, then. I was like, okay, cool. Uh, library's a little slow, but it does help us hit Thorn early if, like, we don't have it. Oh, Mana Boy can get the fuck out. Uh, we can get rid of Blast Zone. And that's our cuts. We're just playing a little more bodies and a little more effects. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Our last time was shaky anyway, regardless of the fact that we didn't sideboard. You're upset I have no stone for mystic emotes. Well, I've got more emotes in the coming soon. I've actually commissioned five more emotes. They only have three more slots. I'm not partner yet. Well, that's not keepable, is it? Or is it? Play an Elvish Reclaimer. Port them, wasteland them, bog them. Uh, no, this is bad. What are those? Well, this is life from the Lomans. I think we have to keep it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it, it, the other thing about this hand is that it's pretty thought as well. So. Yeah, okay, let's keep this. Put one of these back. I don't like this hand great, but I don't think going to five is a good idea either. I don't like this hand great. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Forest Gump. Right. I really hope they play an underground... Not a non uh, They haven't got a fetch land hand. That their hand is... Because they kept a 7. How good can their hand possibly be? You're going to have to turn 1 combo. Just play a fucking underground C. Go on. Underground C, ponder, pass. So I can wasteland you. Go on. Go on. Do it. Do it. Oh no. They paused to think. We're dead. We're going to die on turn 1. They're going to have the exact card they need. PK, you currently have four more views in the official magic channel. I think the official magic channel might have just started streaming. Um, but yeah, like. My numbers are alright. My numbers are pretty good. Especially American time zones as well. They're a bit higher than this and stuff because there's just more Americans than there are. It's poor Europeans, right? Um, is Lance playable that tabernacle? Yes, Jafar, I think it is. Uh, you lose percentages, maybe 10%, 15%. I don't need. Where well, we're going, Abe, we don't need a hate piece. We're going to get them. I mean, if, if they just turn one us, it doesn't matter if I'm more than anyway, does it? Also, this way around, we can actually crop rotate into bog, I guess, which isn't great. But we can also we can also crop rotate into tabernacle if they just like go for a massive empty line as well. Oh, Schultz QU takes the lead. Four hundred and one, not four. So in Modern Hells on 400 and Schultz Cubes on 401. Fucking got him. You took your fucking time, says Naki, with two bits. Wrecked them hard. It's funny because rectum rhymes with rectum. Has our opponent disconnected, or are they just doing complicated maths? 
Are they ghosting, lol? Maybe, who knows? <laughs> I was going to say, who cares? But actually, it's really important whether they know we've got crop rotation or not. Yeah. Oh, they, of course, they have the fucking fetch land every time. Okay, they can't crack it. Okay, let's go. Misty Rainforest. Wasteland. Let them know we've got it. Why the fuck not? There's probably many reasons not, but who cares? Uh, Tega. Crack this. Get a Bayou when it loads. Life in the Loam. Yeah, there's that. There's a line where you can go wasteland there, pollute delta, crop rotate into a ghost quarter, ghost quarter the basic that they fetch, and then see if they have another basic. But that feels very all in. They have two basics, yes, but one of each, right? Maybe we do go that line, so we're going to loam, aren't we? Theory, yes. Okay, I might go for it if they didn't do this turn mob. I'm like, waste on the misty. They, they crack it, get a land. We're gonna. Cro oh no, they go. Are they just gonna combo cast instead? <laughs> 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 oh, don't do it. So what's this gonna be? <laughs> what's this gonna be? Is this a duress? This is a. Com oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I don't think we die here, right? It's very unlikely that we just die. He says. In theory. White mana, green mana, ad nauseum. Okay. So they hit Underground Sea, Infernal Tudor, Past in Flames, Preordain, Duress, Cabal Ritual. No Dark Ritual or Floating Mana or Petal yet, kids. Cabal Ritual. Preordain. <laughs> dark Ritual. That's what they needed. They needed a Dark Ritual. Now they go Dark Ritual, duress us, and we crop rotate into Bog, blow out their graveyard, and stop them. Then they have a pretty good turn next turn, but they... So Black Mana, Dark Ritual, duress, right? Oh, they had a Lion's Eyes in their last card that wasn't in the Nauseam. Oh, shit, son. Okay. They're fucking doing it, aren't they? Okay. Mm. Crack. Dark Ritual. Sure. Cabal Ritual. Right. Okay. After this resolves, they will have... Five mana in pool. If we bulk them here, they'll have three mana in pool. I don't bog them yet, do I? Where is the no. bog here? At some point, they duress me, right? Let them crack LED. Six black mana. What? They're going to duress me at any point now, right? Barrel Ritual. Ha! Huh, yeah, they might just have... Oh, they have Infernal Tutor. We're dead. Duress me. And now they just kill... Yeah, we're dead. Because they just cracked the ritual. They cracked this. Yeah, we're just dead. Cool. Let's make sure... because well, we they might... a good shot. <clears throat> well, I don't, I don't think we did in the second game. And we could have mulliganed harder. But we're just dead, because now they can ho cast Infinite Tutor, hold priority, crack the Lion's Eye Diamond, make a load of red, and then they can um, just get tendrils and kill us. They don't even have to do anything with the graveyard. 
but they could fuck it up. Well, we have no other out other than them fucking it up, so let's pray for that. Uh, what a rough couple of matches we've had so far. Oh, I'd like to respond. <laughs> oh, no, that, not concede. I want to do this first. Yeah, fucking got him. Yeah. Okay. So about the moral victory. Shit, so if I bogged them in response to the first Cabal ritual, would they have been able to do it? No, Abe, Abe, I get it. I get it. I, I get why Spheres on the sideboards. I get that this is the Dexter Boys matchup. I get it. But I also don't believe that you have to mulligan to fives and fours and threes to win matches against this stuff sometimes. I just think sometimes... What, what if we just don't see a thorn and we've just mulled ourselves into oblivion, right? So I get it and I appreciate it and I agree that they're really important. Huh. Oh no, Ape's here. He'll be like, why didn't you mull to two? <laughs> well you're wrong and you're my mortal enemy now okay Abe, cool <laughs> I don't think they could have went off yeah so that's the question if we bogged them on the first cabal ritual would we have got them well my plan was to waste on them out I think I should have gone down the wasteland ghost quarter route the turn before Hello Another and welcome boy. back, Admiral Blast Twice. I'm very warm. I oh, my heating is off. I feel like this deck could take serum powders. No, I don't think that's a good idea. You end up exiling like part of your combos and shit. I would love to play first. Crop rotation, wasteland, life and Do we have a fast combo here? Wish this was exploration, it'd be so much better. I might mana bond off this hand, honestly. You reckon? Or maybe I crop rotate into Thespian Stage first, then mana bond the following turn. That feels better. Because that puts our combo straight online, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go... Nurturing Peatland Pass... What if they thought sees my bond, though? Nah, that'll be fine. Okay. I'm going to turn one, crop rotate into Thespian, and then I'm going to mana bond the turn after. Well, that, the second turn. Okay. Just play bond out. I guess so, but that gives away what we are, right? Because then they know we're not turbinates. I'm conserving information, but maybe every day I'm suffering, you're right, I should just play this out so I don't get thought sees. Oh, don't thought sees me, you motherfucker. Oh, God, I'm so bad at this game! Okay. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. It's all okay. It's all okay. I'm still going to crop rotate, right? This is probably Storm again from the looks of things. Another one. Should have played Bond. Please press F to pay your respects to Mana Bond. Okay, I'm going to crop rotate for... Thespian stage. I think, yeah, I think that's the best thing to do, right? Yeah. And then they're going to take my mana bond. Yes. If they daze this, that'd be so funny. Because they were just completely, like, fucking played wrong. <laughs> okay, address will take mana bond. Or oh, they might take life and alone like a fool. Nope, they did the right thing. Yeah, okay, I should have 100% played on Thoughtseize. I'm a fucking moron. Uh, wasteland. Yeah. There's a very small chance it's not Storm. There's a very small chance that it's... I don't think Blue-Black Show Intel, but I don't think Blue-Black Show Intel plays a trop. <laughs> I, get it. I mean, they could do. They could do. Dress as Storm. Yeah. No, I'm saying it's a very... No, no, no. I'm, okay. So Abe's taking me seriously and Blaster's taking me seriously on different ends. 
Um, Abe, I'm with you. I think it's Storm 2. Blastoise, I was kind of joking. Like, like Underground Sea into Duress is not exactly a common line outside of Storm Decks. Because Storm Decks just want to take away the permission and then kill you. Um, I guess Portin is better. No, don't shut up, Abe. Don't shut up. It's just funny that I said that and then two people reacted on, like, two ends of the spectrum. Like the knowledgeable, uh, the new player, the, not not having to go Blastoise but being mean, but the newer player and the expert both thought I was being serious when I was just being a dick. <laughs> um, I guess I'd port them, and if they have a brainstorm, I feel bad. No. Because if I port them and they brainstorm and they're upkeep and then play a fetch land, I'll feel like a right tit. Is port even good in lands? Sounds like you've never played against lands before, my friend. It's pretty good. Uh, I think the split in this deck might be wrong though. Like Ghost Quarters seem pretty good right now, but then it depends. Like they seem to go against these like fancy mana, mana decks, right? Like with their fancy land bases. But then Renin Six doesn't give a shit, right? Okay, they're gonna miss a land drop, and that is fucking music to my ears. Okay, so now we're gonna put them to twenty-one, which is kind of frustrating. Another one. Okay. Would love to draw an exploration next turn. I'm not loaming because I've got all the parts I need. They fetch a basic here, right? And we're going to port them next turn. Preordain off of a snow land. I am sick of these lands. I like Titus as a person. I like the art. I think they look good. I'm sick of seeing them. <laughs> like, this deck doesn't even fucking play Astral Labor or any Snowlight stuff, right? And they're still fucking playing them. Give it... Just, nice. just fucking cut it out. There's, Rob, how many land arts are there? Like, a thousand? Like, give okay, or take? take your point. And they're like, oh, just use the same one as ever. Oh, it's just upsetting, you know? It's just upsetting. Fucking brainstorm. Mm. When we get when we get snow in another set, kids, there will be snow hate, right? But I don't know where that's going to be. I thought Calderheim was coming next. I shouted and I shouted about it and nothing. No Calderheim. I don't know how I fucking got this idea in my head, but... I mean, if it makes you feel any better, brainstorm was in cold snow. Oh sure, I wasn't really mad about brainstorm there. Someone in chat was just saying that there's no there's no snow hate or not enough snow hate. I mean, you can't go pretty, go to dig pretty deep to find it, but it does exist. Yeah, there's like two cards, right, and they're bad. Is the snow hate? Well, does the snow hate even hit lands, Clariont? Can you? Snow permanent. Oh fuck off! Do not go off. Do not go off. Come on. Oh dear. That looks like they're going off. Well. Yep. Some... Fuck me then, I guess, right? Just fuck yep. me. They did cast like 5 million cantrips, so it's quite likely this was yeah. going to happen. Lion's Eye Diamond. Piff. Just be ad nauseum and whiff. I can't remember the last time I saw someone whiff on ad nauseum. I would love to see a destroy target non basic land or snow basic on a land. That'd be gas. Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll make them play it out because they fuck it. Come on. F6. <laughs> I hit 6 then. The OK button, like, great as it had been pressed and just didn't press. Oh, hello, Fuzzy Contrack! Hello, Fuzzy! The resident Discord bear. Can you 
you milk a bear, Rob? Uh, yeah, they're they're mammals. I was more thinking about penises. <laughs> then also yes. <laughs> Tendrils. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. So we played Burn, Storm, and Storm in a row. I do like it when we get our best matchups. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, is that what it is, Epic Fell? They fucked me on the, uh, on that. There you go. Avalanche. X2 red red sorcery. Oh, <laughs> that's pricey. Destroy X target snow mode. Yes, that sounds like great hate. <laughs> <laughs> this comes four turns too late. That card is fucking awful. If I'd... Actually, for that mana bond out, by the way, we might have had a very different game. Schultz thinks we should cut. Oh, why? Schultz, you were well, you not here for the whole last round? Why have you said this? At the as I've clicked submit in the second game against Storm, why did you say it earlier? Schultz, answer me. Right. Okay, we can gamble for a sphere. That could work. But then we might keep it, then I just duress it. That would suck, right? Well, better than having your mox time duress, I guess. Is it? Play that anyway, so. Mm. Ape, I was asking about this earlier and people couldn't give me a clear like even Abe, who's been helping quite a bit, wouldn't couldn't say whether I should have ley lines, right? Abe, what was your stance on the ley lines? Because I was like, do we bring ley lines in? And everyone was just like <laughs> The sound of wind <laughs> and tumbleweed. Also, the boat or three of the times we've been killed by <laughs> Storm has not involved No, no, two of the three times have not involved a graveyard, right? You said bring them in. Oh, you say that now! You say that now. So normally in this hand I'll just gamble for Loam and Love Life, but that's going to suck complete shit. Uh, do I keep this? Okay, so here we go. So we talked about this earlier. Do we... Uh, I can go back in the chat and... Say, no, 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 hey, don't go looking for it. It's fine, I believe you. Do we here... Well, well default here is saying gamble for the sphere and putting the fucking sarcastic kappa face. Chat, would you <laughs> mulligan for the sphere or would you gamble for the sphere? Because gamble for the sphere gives us like a one in seven chance of discarding it, plus them having duress, thought seas, or even sideboard like inquisitions and shit. But at least we're guaranteed to get it if we gamble. But if no, we we're mulligan, not. We're not guaranteed. It's a one in seven. Okay, we're, we're the chances are much higher. Also, also, we can't play it turn one, which is one of the main things. Exactly, and even if we mulligan, we can't play it. Turn one. Okay, and we also have no way to kill. Okay, we're going to look at Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This has two lands and a fucking dark depths and no green sources. All right, then. Dick faces who are like, make sure you mulligan to the spheres. Otherwise, you'll just <laughs> lose. This hand is garbage. This hand is so fucking bad. We can't even play. This How bad this hand is? We can't play the second sphere because we don't have enough mana sources to play through the first sphere. <laughs> right okay no, I'm bottoming no, the dark no, depths I'm going to draw a third land and then we're going to wasteland them off a land and then never get to play any magic that's the plan right cool yeah also right. we are duress proof what do you oh, mean yes. no lulz no <laughs> no why is everyone saying no why is everyone saying no what put the People are telling me bottom the library. Fuck off. 
No way. I'm not keeping a lamb that doesn't make any fucking mana. No way. Could have caught potato for the other half of Dark Depths. No, we can't. We don't have any green sources. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I know I can't cast library, but we're more likely to draw a green source than draw into the combo, honestly. Fuck. <laughs> Scavenging booze, that's don't call people that. That's not good. The fucking depths did nothing with this hand. Absolutely nothing. I wanna slam multiple spheres and then we'll just grind them out with the library. Okay, so there are some people in chat are with me then. Fuck me, chat. Okay, just don't kill us turn one. For the love of all that is fucking holy. I pray to Heliod, fucking... I pray to Elsmith in the underworld. I'm like, come on, just fucking behave. Fuck off. Why would you pray to a dead person? That doesn't make any sense. Wasteland, your Bajooka box. Shut up, Gary's MTG. I feel like you haven't got my best interests at heart. <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay. No rare monsters, not every religion. Every religion doesn't pray to a dead person. Like, the god is not dead. Well, he is in, like, a, a philosophical sense. Uh, <laughs> according to, like, nihilism and other, like, modern schools of thought. But, I mean, like, the character, the... the, the, the I'm going to use the word fiction. I'm not tr trying to rag on anyone's religion here. But the fiction is that he was a being that existed beyond space and time and isn't dead. Dab I have never dabbed Epic Fail. And I won't be I'll be dabbing on the charity stream when we hit 1k sub... sub um, Donations. That's my first milestone. It's to dab for the first time in my life. Let's get ready to clip it, kids. Gonna break the internet. Gonna be lathered up in butter and yeah, dabbing man. like a madman. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of liberating to, to dab for that 24 hour period, then never dab again. You could dab for 24 hours. That's the serious loss of damage. Fucking. Oh no. Chat's been vindicated, Rob. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, lay it on, chat. Lay it on. Lay it on, you bunch of bastards! <laughs> Fuck! I'm so, I'm so mad. It's unreal. I should have bought him the library, but that's hindsight. You know what they say? Chat's a bunch of cunts. <sighs> the whole concept of Christianity is that we killed God because he started talking too much socialism. Okay, now you're just making shit up, Rare Monster. I'm going to move on because I don't know what the fuck's going up. I'm going to play the second sphere. I'm going to love life. Play sphere. I'm going to play a sphere, hit a green source, play a library, wasteland them, and never look back. <laughs> No, Faust, I'm, I'm fully aware of what the God is dead comment means. That's why it's in a philosophical sense. Like, so it's actually anti nihilistic. Uh, I mean, you said you're a grad student in philosophy, but that doesn't seem to make any sense. If a philosopher, if a literal philosopher, a self proclaimed philosopher, right, said God is dead and we have killed him as part of, like, was this, thus spoke Zarathustra or whatever, but isn't nihilist. Well, wasn't he a self-proclaimed nihilist? Or at least the school of thought that people have prescribed him to now. Probably not self-proclaimed. The word point exists then, let's be real. We're not talking religion now, Fuzz. We're talking uh, philosophy and nihilism. How edgy boys. Edgy boys. <laughs> Wasteland. I heard you like taxing effects, Storm. <sighs> we still just died of Hercules. Philosophers also thought sun orbited the, orb the sun orbited the sun. Marcus, the the people, the philosophers you're thinking of that may have said things like that weren't actually philosophers. They're what we used to call philosophers, which were people that were just thinkers, right? Like we're talking about actual conventional philosophy, like people whose job is just to do thought experiments and think about what it, the human condition, as opposed to actual science and shit. Fuck 
fucking brainstorm. I'm sick of it, Rob. They should ban it. Because so, of this stream. Of this stream has made me hate it. <laughs> also, I think Meta Legacy would be fine without brainstorm. It'll upset a lot of people because people just absolutely love custom brainstorms. I think, right, here's, here's, here's two hot takes for you, Rob. You ready? My All right, hit me. Hang on, let's see if they do anything in their turn. Because if they're going to pass straight back, I probably should just play magic and then do the hot takes afterwards. <laughs> okay, they're thinking. While they're thinking, here's my hot takes. Number one. The reason people like Brainstorm so much in Legacy is because they think, they feel, it makes them feel smart. Perhaps smarter than they actually are in reality, right? Casting a Brainstorm and cracking your effects, like, oh, look at all these non-trivial decisions I'm making. And that makes people feel smart, and therefore, they're like, haha, look at my cool format that hinge on a card that makes me feel clever, and therefore, ergo, I am clever, right? That's my first hot take. My second one is that Soul Ring is not the... Fu I think I've got... I've always written the script for another video that's not out yet. But Soul Ring is not the fucking Brainstorm of Commander. That's Commander players trying to emulate the feel of Brainstorm by being, look, see, we've got legitimate staples too. No, you've got an overpowered fucking Mana Rock that is arbitrarily part of the format for no fucking reason. It's not a card selection spell that allows modern... Oh, sorry, Legacy Combo, um, combo decks to be beaten by the, the, these fucking control decks, is it? It's not even remotely the same. So stop saying it's the fucking Brainstorm of Commander. That's bullshit. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Pretty lukewarm take. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck you, Defaultier. i got something in my eye now. Oh, I'm warm. It's the Mistress Workshop of the format. Yeah, like it'll never get banned or, or uh, pick it up by hand. I am. I am. Oh, God. Would you have, these stages can suck my balls as well. I hope they go get a Volk so I can then gamble. That'd be nice. <laughs> you got salt in your eye. Oh, ape. Yes. Semen salt. Okay. I want them to play a trop or a volk so I can copy it. Oh. Copy their fetch land. That's a pretty good shout. But then they'll just copy it in response. They'll just sack it in response, right? Yeah. Let's try it. See if they don't notice. Uh... <laughs> I'll take every inch I can find. I will take it. The ability with fizzle. So, like, we're doing nothing with any. What do you mean the ability with fizzle? We can get a bayou. We got a bayou in our deck. We got them. We find... who suggested it. Who was the person who said that? It's Clarion. Clarion, you are fucking god. Why didn't they crack? Probably because they want to use brainstorms or some shit. What are they smoking? Who knows? So I need my wasteland here because I need four mana to play the Sylvan Library. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're playing. Apparently, Lands plays black now, Ape. You play two Abrupt Decays. Oh, okay. What are they tapping their mana for? A three mana brainstorm! That's why they needed the fetch land, kids. <laughs> ape says seems bad. Uh, ape, the abrupt decays are ways of killing Renin 6. In a format where... Oh, the ma oh you're on about the brainstorm seems bad. Okay, sure. I do still like quote function where you can like uh, save quotes. Yeah, that cataclysm Admiral Blastoise is one of my favourite cataclysms ever. I was only doing it to piss off Tobo. <laughs> oh, they're over there thinking, I wish I had a Sylvan library. Oh, the quote thing does work. Oh, sweet. Nice. So, Neo, uh, Lands did try playing Renin 6, and some people are 5 0 with Renin 6, but I think there's a dispute between Lands players as to whether Renin 6 is good enough or not. Because it goes in the Loam slot. Is it better than Loam? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah, I'm probably going to pay 8. Last time I played 8 life on this, though, 8, they just killed me the next turn with like 3 spells. Hopefully, the spheres will stop that. <laughs> Bob, they just checked their first quote. Who did that? Added by Ape of Justice. On the 1st, 7th of January, you've got 
him, you've got to be a massive cunt. Him is a massive cunt. Fuck that card. Another one. Okay, let's draw some cards. Oh, baby. Is one of these a loam? That's not a fucking loam, but it is a ghost quarter. Oh, let's fucking get him. <laughs> okay, let's put that back on top. I don't need, do I need it? Actually, do I have an explosion play? I don't. Ah, fuck it. Here we go. 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 Let's go get a Tega. Let's play a green. Let's play an exploration off this lands as well. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and wasteland them. I should probably take them off black, because black's the thing that unlocks them with mana, right? Do they have another basic? No. <laughs> Quote four. I hope they rest in peace us, because then we win. <laughs> Blessing clearly gets blue-white with lethal zombies on the field. Well, I guess that's true. That wasn't untrue, was it? Oh, they're gonna they're gonna cash their petals in for a chain of vapor. Oh fuck! On one of our spheres. Okay. Sure. Cancel. Now they have one land in play, and there's still a sphere in play. Quote five. Got to spin to win. It's like Wheel of Fortune, but you fuck people with spaghetti monsters. <laughs> oh fuck it out. Quote, yeah, wow. What was quote three and quote two? Quote two. It was like being back in school where everyone was screaming and throwing shit at each other, you know, back in secondary school. About Vintage Doomsday in Twitch chat. <laughs> oh, quote six. I'm a massive turd. Oh, these are fun. These are fun. Right, we need to get this quote bot more, used more regularly, kids. This is good. Gamble for a loam, gamble for a loam. I'm going to gamble, gamble for a loam. Probably should have played my other sphere first. I don't really want to discard it. I'm going to go land, sphere of resistance. We've got to kill him, haven't we, at some point? Hello. Well, thank you, Orzo Taser, for sticking around and watching. Hope you're enjoying the bullshit. He's 0 3. Ape, I'm 2 1, you prick. And we lost to our worst matchup because I wouldn't mulligan to 5. Sideboard. Okay, Sphere of Resistance confirmed good. All right. Absolutely. So that multiple Thalias are good. Sphere of Resistance back to my Ghost Quarters and Wastelands. That's where it's at. It's all about prison. I guess we run it back, right? Zero, zero three. My yeah. heart. Shut up, ape. If you keep lying up my record, I'm gonna fucking I don't know. Call you names. I don't fucking know. There you go. Thanks, Epic Fell, for having my back, buddy. Isn't this fair just better Thalia? No. Right, let's talk about this then. One, affects all card types, including creatures. So if you're a creature-based deck, it, it hurts. Two, it's an artifact, so it dies to uh, different one. removal. So that's a difference more so than a better or worse. And three, Thalia is a 2-1 first striker and a human soldier. So it can play with cavern and soldier-relevant cards too. It can carry a sword and it kills your opponent. So no, not strictly better. We have a Thought of Amethyst. I could even go Misty, Crop Rotate it into an Ancient Tomb and play on turn one. Problem being, we don't have a green source, but then we can Ghost Quarter ourselves to get a green source. So, yeah, okay. Hopefully just draw a Mox Diamond or an Ancient Tomb. So, Admiral Blastoise, there is a soldier deck in Legacy called Soldier Stompy. Maybe that'll be next Monday's stream. 
Soldier That's Stompy. Hmm? Say again, Rob? That would be a good idea. Yeah, it's fun, that, isn't it? A, yeah, I like that deck. And we haven't played it in a while. We used to, we played it a few times. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the uh, first decks I played on Modo. Turn one tabernacle. Shut up, Goober. <laughs> only, only kidding. Please keep talking. So, we go Misty, Tega, crop rotate it into Ancient 2, make sure it's not on our sideboard. No. Play a Thorn. Turn 2, we float 2 mana, go quarter it as... Who said that in chat? Uh, Clarion, and then we can play Tracker, then we just play Lands. Oh no, with a Sphere... Oh no, it's not Sphere, it's Thorn, so actually we can play Tracker. Okay, I like that line. We don't get the Forest here though, we have to get Tega. Another one. So this is this is Poison Girls as well as a one of Ancient Tomb in the deck. For these kind of lines. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't played a Brainstorm deck on stream in a fucking long time. I feel like I need more practice with them, if I'm completely honest. I do want to, I need to play some more decks like that, to be honest. Yeah. Why do I have to get a Tager? Okay, yeah. Blast Rush. The reason I have to get a Tager was that this has to get the basic forest in a moment, and we want the Bayer to be fetchable in case we have to play the Abrupt Decays. That said, I've just realised the Abrupt Decays are in our board. So we had to get a Tager or a, or a thing. <laughs> huh. Do I? I do, don't I? Yeah, 100%. It worked last time. <laughs> Uh, Gooba, the tabernacle was a crop rotatable thing to win against empty. That is literally it. And then we wasteland them next turn. Thing is, we can't go quarter range until we get a force and play Tower's Tracker with the current mana here, because Sphere of Resistance makes Tracker with four mana spell. Oh, they're not hitting a land drop either. Oh, yes. Get, okay. get out of my house! <laughs> Be gone, Storm! I think Be gone, done. Storm, you fuck! Oh, that's, 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 that's therapeutic. That's Wasteland deeply, deeply satisfying. I, I forget how fun Taxi effects plus Wasteland are. I think I need to play some more D&T again. I haven't played. Whoa, Pockpex. Oh, there you go. That's the LPL deck right there. Pop packs, just so you know, I don't use that term here. It's it's not technically a slur, but I don't want it here. Because it's used to shame people who do things that's there's nothing wrong with them doing it, so don't do that. And you didn't know that, so I'm not like angry, just don't do that. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. TKDBN with 14 months in a row with a smiley face. Does this bring you joy? Does this does this what's her name? Mary Con is it Mary Conda? Rob? You'll know this. Hello? Hello? Mary Conda? Question mark? Breaking up. Oh, okay, we're breaking up. Okay. Marie Kondo. Okay, chat's got it. I think Rob's breaking up, so we're just going to play this. No, keep wasteland. No, Abe! I want to be able to cast my spells, buddy. Actually, I'm going to still cast Reclaimer. We can also reclaim a 4 wasteland. Or Ghost Quarter. <gasps> I'm going to play Reclaimer and go get a Ghost Quarter and Ghost Quarter that snow-covered island, and I'm going to love life. I should have actually Ghost Quartered this, you're completely right. So now I can just crop rotate into Tabernacle and combo kill them on end step. No, I can't. Crop rotation costs an extra mana! Hmm. 
just replay the reclaimer. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Do we need a mana or can we keep our dude? I'm going to crop rotate the tabernacle into a dinghy. So I just crop rotate the tabernacle into a ghost court and go squat the blue source. That seems like the correct thing to do, right? That feels like a good way to end this game. But Ghost Squad gives them a black source. Which allows them to cast at least a three mana spell next turn. I only play one Ghost Squad, so I can't Ghost Squad them. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's just get stage. Fuck it. I didn't want to do that, but I guess it's still a thing. Yep. Could have done that in their turn. So that would up the storm count. <laughs> so they play a third land, they can then cast a singular spell. Yes. Okay. Fourth at two mana Lotus Pearl. That's all about. Okay. Swing okay. in. Port, port one. one end there. Yeah. Do we want to? Can we double port if we transform? Oh, no, no, no. We just the, yeah. That's that's just going to become a mountain age. Wrong ability. You can tell I haven't played much Legacy Modo recently, can't you? <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, Trinosphere is a weird one epic for doing that. Really weird. Okay, with 3 1, can we make it a 4 1? Or are we going to play Storm and get fucked? Is that what's going to happen? I'm going to grab another glass of water. So, Rob, talk to Thank chat you. about whatever you want, but it's probably going to be DD again, isn't it? Let's well, get hyped for no, some DD, Rob. I'm, I'm super fucking hyped to play some DD at the moment. I, yesterday, I. People are hyped to see us play DD. Well, we need to fucking do it then. Yeah. Do people in this chat want to see this? If you're watching the video on YouTube, please comment as well saying, do some fucking DD content. Because my fear is that we spend, like, collectively. Like, between us, like, shit tons of time doing it, right? Because DMing is not easy and you DM, right? Most likely. Yeah. And then I'll, like, edit the fucking thing. Even if we're editing it to have a few still images, like, move while we do it like a podcast format. Even that will take time. And we put it out when, like, six people watch it. <laughs> That's my fear with everything. That's why... And I shouldn't care about numbers. I shouldn't. Because I like having just fun playing Magic and people seem to enjoy playing Magic with me and shit. But I am scared of that. So we will make some D&D content. I need to reread the DM manual and the player manual. I almost did that last night. I got home from going out to watch the Joker and have some food. And I almost sat down to read some DD, but then I played Forza instead, because I really like Forza. Well, that's fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> I, I was tired. I could play a racing game, but the idea of reading when I'm tired is not good. How was Joker? Okay. <laughs> His, I'm not going to talk too much about it, because I, I don't know. I, I, people don't seem to give a shit when I talk about movies on videos. Um, uh, Joker is a very technically accomplished movie, and it's very, very... Um, it made me feel, which is a good thing about a movie, right? To, to evoke any sort of... Or invoke any sort of emotional response, right? And uh, I think it actually handled tying into the Batman universe okay as well. I kind of hope they wouldn't tie it in at all, but they did. I'm trying to do spoiler-free here. The problem I have, and this is a very minor spoiler, is that they basically do make him sympathetic. Um, how can I explain this without any more spoilers? Made you worry. It may, well, it makes me worry about the film and the way people are going to perceive it, but I also just found it a bit tiring. Like, it, yeah. like, without going into too much detail again, basically he's made sympathetic because he doesn't really do anything that's not justified. Like, that justifies actions. And then he has a little mini rant at the end that you're like, kind of meant to like go along with. You're meant to be like, you know what, he's not, he's not completely wrong, is he? I'm just like, ugh. Ugh. Like... Yeah, but Thanos... I'm not saying villains can't be... Oh, here's the thing. So we had this argument on Twitter, didn't we? Where people were telling me I was 
so wrong for saying that psychopaths shouldn't be relatable characters. You can have relatable villains, but I don't see the need to make relatable villains all the time. Like, characters don't have... Darth Maul is the best thing about episode one, and we know nothing about him, and no one gives a shit. No one needs to know what his mother's name is. Or that he shares his mother's name with another character in the canon. No one needs to know what his fucking origin story is, even. No one gives a shit, right? Like, the fact that he's enigmatic is part of his character. So stop trying to make everything fucking sympathetic. Jesus Christ. Have you seen it yet, Rob? Have you seen Joker yet? No, we've lost him! I wonder who we had to say and he's gone! Rob, come back! There he is. Rob, you there? Yes, I, I missed all of that. This oh, so fuck! <laughs> Have you seen the film? Every word you said about Joker. <laughs> I had very minor... Minor spoilers, I guess. But, um, did did you... Have you seen Joker yet? I I haven't, though. Okay. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to seeing what you think of it, honestly. Um, right, I'm going to grab some water. Feel free to chat to chat. We can do, like, a, a rotating shift, like a babysitter. I'll back in seconds. Okay. Oh, see, the trouble with... Oh, the fact that we use Discord is that every time Vince starts shouting and talking a great deal, it just turns him into a robot, and then I can't hear a word he's saying. He'll talk for minutes at a time, and I don't hear it. So, yeah, that was that. How much get Another Vince's one. face tattooed on my face, but his face is a tattoo. Form is tattooed with Stone Forge Mystic. Many, many dollars. How are you liking Burnt Face in Legacy and Modern right now? Um, I think it's always good in Legacy because I think it's like a policeman of the format. And in Burn, it's better than it has been in a long time. What else would you like to ask me, Chet? When will elves rise again? Never. Well, when Lorwyn comes back, I expect. What's your favourite D&D class? Um, I'm going to sound like a broken record here and say cleric. <laughs> What's your favourite archetype in magic? Oh, man, that's a hard question. Like, I like... I like some value stuff. I like killing people. I like having fun. I like tribal stuff. Like, there's a lot of things. When will Clarence rise again? Never. Least favorite D and D troop. Um, I don't know. Whoever Dritz to and hangs out with. Favorite race in D and D. Ooh, um, uh, halfling probably. Love halfling. Will you do a charity reading of Inquisitor by Ian Watson? I don't know. I don't know that person. I've never, never read the book, so I don't know. What's your favourite race IRL? Wow, that's wildly inappropriate. Thanks for that. Uh, thoughts on Radiant Servant of Pelor? Um, I, I'm not 100% familiar with that particular thing, so I couldn't possibly Another what it was. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing you've seen Vince eat? <sighs> oh, um, there's probably a kebab somewhere that probably went terribly, terribly wrong. Will Ren get the ban hammer? Mm, yes, I think so. I think it's doing similar, two similar things to uh, our favourite one drop. Planeswalker, so I think it's a bit too too good. Uh, <sighs> reading, reading, reading. What's the naughtiest thing I've ever done? Um, I'm not at liberty to disclose that in public. 
for something about a ban announcement this week. Am I wrong? I don't know. Chat, can you help with that? I don't think so. there's any ban. I think, yeah, be it no change in the BNR. Oh. No. How goes the chats with these fucking miscreants? Uh, we're talking about running through a field of weed, apparently. Uh, talking about BNRs and what kind of spellcasters are good in D and D. I think is the general conversation. I do you know what I, I I try to avoid conversations around like min maxing and uh, efficient character creation in D and D. Because that's never been my bag. I think that, uh, yeah, I, I would agree. I mean, I think that now that we're in 5th edition, there's not very much call for min-maxing. Um, in in 3.x, it was like a whole like maths exercise. It was incredible. Because there were so many options and things. So there, there was a good, it was a good arena for, for min-maxing. But I think 5th edition, like... The only min maximal character is a rain is an archer because it does like ridiculous damage. Other than that, you know, just just play what you like. Exactly. You know? And and now the game is designed where you can like where master learning is really effective. You can you don't even have to level up your characters. Like it's all about the experience and. Agreed. One hundred percent. Like it's collaborative storytelling. Like that's the whole fucking point. That and having fun with your friends. That, it's, it's that more than it ever has been. Yeah. Like I said, there's this. I've been listening to, and I'll plug them again. I've only watched this is the first three episodes, but not another D and D podcast. Just a, a, a campaign about a world where a campaign's already just been completed. So we don't know of this campaign, but the heroes save the world. But it's all about the ramifications afterwards, where they like destabilized governments and like you know instilled the rightful le- the rightful king back to the throne. But the rightful king is just like absolutely unqualified to take take control of this thing so it's all of that and then all three other characters are also very fun one of them's like a boy scout paladin who's actually part of a scout troop and then another <laughs> one is like um kind of a hillbilly uh fungus obsessed druid who's got like a possum for their animal companion and the other one is a dwarven warrior who grew up sorry no he's a human warrior who grew up with dwarves under the mountain so he was the best guy in class simply because he was twice the height of everyone else Best climber, best runner, and all this. So when he gets out into the real world, he suddenly realizes he's not the fucking big man on campus, and it's just really good. All, th- all three of them are like improv comedians, I think, as well, and the so is the DM, so it works very well. But I was like, this is such a cool format. Like I'm just listening to it when I'm running, walking my dog, or like going to the shop. I'm like, fuck, I want to do this. So that's something we can. I've got some ideas, Rob. I'll talk to you more about it when I'm off stream. But I'm talking to. I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas. And it'll be we can put it up on YouTube and we can put it out as a podcast. It'll be, it'll be anyway, 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 anyway. We're into a game of magic. Good night, kind of Brian. Thank you for hanging out, my friend. Can you show the deck list? Says Asher. Uh, if you click, uh, I'll do it for you. Do, 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 do. Deck list. Also, there should be a stream. Uh, what's it called? Uh, cardboard live link on screen that you can click on as well. There should be. Unless you're on mobile. Our opening hand has a wasteland, a maze of abrupt decay, and life from the loam. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I'm going to keep it. Mm-hmm. Would love a mox or a fucking what you call it? Exploration. Remember cardboard kitty cats. That's my new name for people who play magic. By the way, cardboard kitty cats. You can sub to. I'm not going to keep doing that. That's fucking awful. I cringe every time I say it. <laughs> Cardboard kitty cats! Uh, you can sub with the sub button above my head. If you've got Amazon Prime, it is free. The other way you can support the channel and all content that I make is through patreon.com forward slash pleasant Kenobi. Uh, how was Feel the Dead felt? Uh, I've only played it. Uh, did we play it? Was it the game I played before stream? No, we made some zombies and we won against um, Silver and Plug because we blocked with it. So it's pretty good. Let's go Foothills and Pass. Well, conserving information. Or as they say in American politics, we are Russian bots. <laughs> oh no, he said the P word. Bum bum bum! Twitch crashed hard. Twitch crashes as soon as I make a comment about Trump. Cardboard kitty cats and everything betwixt. That could work. No. Yes, Clarion. Yeah, I think I think I can see why Decay is main. Huh. Well, 
It's not in our hand anymore. But I can see why Decay is main deck. I can see that. Yeah. It's justifiable. Badlands into Thoughtseize says to me that this is more likely reanimated. However, some of the three and four color, like um, Ren and Delver decks, have been playing a singular Badlands because their mana bases are incredibly greedy. Oh, really? <sighs> yeah. Exploration. Well, don't mind if I do. So, let's go crack this. Could be tears. Okay, okay. I have I have no idea which versions of Storm would use which lands. We had this joke earlier. The tiger? Yes. And I guess some... Wasteland Maze, I guess. Oh, no, sorry. Exploration first. Derp. Wasteland them. Play a maze. Because the other two lands don't do anything here. I guess we can fake a crop rotation. Maybe that's better than a maze, actually. And then we can sacrifice, blow this up. And then we can loan back Wasteland and Foothills for next turn. Okay. And then start loaning. Okay. Loan plus exploration is a pretty strong... It's borderline combo. Like, it's not actually a combo. It's obviously like a very heavy synergy. But it feels like a combo sometimes when you lock an opponent out of a game. Oh, they only have one land. Guess they're reanimated then, right? Because like a Delver deck or a Storm deck wouldn't keep just bad lands. That seems bad. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hello. Okay. So. So if they are reanimated, this maze of this is going to be pretty good. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what I play here. I think I go green. Green, loam these back, then play foothills, crack it, get a bayou. So we find out they're burn and they're just splashing for thought seizures, and I get fucked by price of progress because I'm not playing around <laughs> it in the slightest. Somehow, I don't think that's going to be the case. I doubt it too, but you never know. Did they hit another land? Island? Well, it looks like it's a storm then. Well, this could still be. With Ponders, I believe it could still be the Delver decks, but a basic island seems a bit weird. So we're going we're gonna to dredge back loam, and we're going to yep. draw a card off Nurturing Peat Lands. So we're going to see, like, uh, uh, three cards into the bin and a draw, which basically, the, the, there's this joke that I heard of a lands player once say, where Life in the Loam is basically Ancestral Recall, because you always draw three cards off of it. So we're going to see four cards, and we want one of them to be a Ghost Quark, because I really just want to take them off lands and never let them have lands in this in this matchup. That makes sense. Yeah, so to essentially what Rami's saying here, so um, the whole ant thing of being ad nauseum tendrils is just an mm. old name. So, like, it has ad nauseum in it, normally the one copy, but it often uses Dark Petition to go grab a thing, or most obviously um, Past in Flames. So it's kind of an old name. In the same way that when you play Affinity in Modern... It doesn't tend to have any infinity cards in it. It's just like a, a holdover from like an old name. So dredge this. Find a shard and ports. So that's not terrible. Crack this. Draw an exploration. <laughs> How many explorations is too many explorations? That's the question. Uh, five? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, because that would be actually illegal, yeah. Um, I'm going to go Grove, Lone Bat, the Port, the Foothills, and the Nurturing Peatland with this colourless and, and this wasteland. Undo. This green. And then we're going to go Foothills, Rashad and Port. God, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to crack this for a forest and play an exploration and play my Nurturing Peatland. And then I'm going to love life. Mm. 
we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've ascended, chat. <laughs> Hello, pessimistic pingu. We are currently three one. We've played against Storm three fucking times. I could have dredged, but I didn't want to dredge. Maybe I did want to dredge. Don't brainstorm into a fetch, because that always pisses me off when I do this. Just don't... Oh, fuck's sake. Tap. I'm quite far behind on clock. A minute and a half. Actually, no, I should have dredged, because we just want to find Ghost Quarter. Yeah. Epic fail. Welcome to Legacy Lands. It's kind of like what the deck does, I guess. This kind of thought sees. Interesting. Put three cards in the bin, including Dark Depths. So we're, we're getting towards the uh, the engine. So we're going to go Tabernacle, Dark Depths, and Port. Off of green and green. Then we're going to crack this for a colorless. We're going to dredge. We hit nothing but a punishing fire. So we get punishing fire back if we need it, but we don't really need it. Uh, we're gonna go. I don't know how many land drops we've got left actually. <laughs> um, let's go. Shard and port. How many land drops do I have left, kids? Have I played? I have four land drops total. But how many have I used? One. Pass. We have four. It actually tells me in the middle left. Wait, 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 wait. where? MTO tells you in the middle left. White box. Where? Uh, yeah, and play land. Oh, shit! That's fucking awesome! I didn't even know that! <laughs> so I'm going to go colourless and green. Draw all of those. And then we're going to have not enough lands to fetch. So we have to port them twice. But then you have one land, so it's all good. We go foothills, crack this, go Tega, nurture in peatland, and then I guess I just play Dark Nets. <laughs> cool! Right, we just need to find the fucking Thespian to kill him now. I do like it when it's easy. <laughs> yeah. Best way to win magic is to have the opponent not play magic. I mean, I'm quite a fan of stacks and prison effects. I really am. <laughs> what the shit is this, says Mafar? <laughs> <laughs> we are playing Legacy Lands, our opponent's on Storm, and we've blown up one of their lands, and now we're not letting them play any magic. And then we're going to hit them with a 2020 Eldritch Monster from the depths of an ice lake. Another one. Can we win by just removing counters? Probably, but it's very slow. Why not dredge again? I'm considering it now. I don't know why I didn't do it in my turn, but I, it wouldn't change anything, would it? Oh no, I should have just played the peatland plus the land first, dredged. I don't know. I I really like as time has gone on. I I I realized I love land-based strategies. Whether it be using my ports and my wastelands where I deploy like creatures off of vials, or whether it be wastelanding people, whether it be making lots of mana and, mana and land drops. You know, from Tati over to lands to Maverick to DNT, I do like lands. Our opponent is just paused for some reason. Exploration Tribal BRB. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone for a shit. Uh, uh, you can go through the master. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch my Lord Windgrace video. I was pretty happy with that video. I've made videos about Tachiova. I've made videos about Gitrog. I've made videos about Windgrace. Thank you, 33 ducks in a fucking trench coat. 11 months of ducks in a trench coat. I'm impressed. There's 33 of you motherfuckers in there as well. Some mad shit. For those of you who weren't here earlier, but just remember, keep your calendars clear on the... 21st of December. No, 20th to the 21st. I'm going to be starting on the 20th, all the way to the 21st. 24 hours of magic. There will be all formats that I can fit in. Might even fit some Canlander into the schedule so I can fit as many formats in as I can. 
Mermaid Basic, Commander, Modern, Legacy. Oh, I, I didn't port them because of the their BRB comeback thing. If they win now, they can't win from here, surely. If they win, can I import them, Rob? That would be embarrassing. Embarrassing and kind of annoying as well. Oh no, you've got to be kidding me. Uh... <laughs> Say it ain't so. They just float the mana for port now. Okay, I've fucked up here. Right, so what do they get? We can't see, of course. Right, ad nauseum. Okay, that's something. Let's draw a card. Oh. Let's draw a card. That's not a clock rotation. Okay. Oh. Wow. First card they hit, Infernal Tua. Second card they hit, Lion's Eye. <sighs> Why can't they hit the stuff that isn't those two fucking things? Why can't they hit just numerous fucking one mana spells, right? Uh, well, so, okay. And they hit Burning Wish immediately afterwards. If they were just hitting shit and empty, then we'd be fine. But now they're gonna burning wish for tendrils and kill us. We don't even with a port. Yeah, we don't even with a port. Oh, I know that I missed that port, but it didn't matter in the end. So it's like a deck set meant it, but it wasn't good. Okay, but look at this way. Okay, so I, I get your sarcasm, ape. But imagine if this was the other way round. Imagine if they went Duress, Thoughtseize, Opal, Brainstorm, Bloodstain, Maya, Empty the Woman's Thoughtseize. Like, at that point, they still haven't won the game and they're still miles off of it. It was like their first three hits were the... They could have potentially... Could they have just stopped there? You guys are Storm... You're, you're self-confessed Storm Expert, right? Could they not have stopped on Infernal Shirt and Lion's Eye Burning Wish and just fucked people? Yeah, like, I just would have rather it wasn't, like, perfecto, right? Is that perfect? Am I getting this wrong? Because they go on Burning Wish. Crack it. Uh, cast Funnel Shooter. Crack for three red. Get. I guess they couldn't cast Tendrils then, could they? They still need to hit another mana spell. Which was the petal immediately afterwards. So I guess, yeah. The, the, the likelihood of them getting them. Um, they were just cutting out the funny business and showing you that you were dead. <laughs> yeah, so they might have been a bit mana short, to be fair. The petal plus the lines, I must have made it though, right? I did F6 here. Oh, I have F6, I shouldn't be doing that. Because then they know I haven't got rotation. That's not passing flames in the yard, it's too right of flame. Oh, burning wish for tendrils, right? Looks like it. Thank you for the 15 months of work, Drew Christmas, I appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. And the man was likely off if just had that. I could wish for Echo, but that's stupid when you already have a nausea going. Wish for Echo? Echo in truth? Mana Echoes. I don't even know what that card does. That's a card. They've discarded two right of flame. Okay, they got there. They got there for one land. Oh, fucking storm. Damn it. Echo of Eons. Oh, right, 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 right. I forget that card even exists. Fuck, I hate <laughs> storm so much. It's just the fucking... There's so many cool combo decks in, 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 in all formats, and there's just storm, right? I know, ju not just Storm, because obviously there's two big variants and they vary quite a bit at the moment. But by God, I find them fucking tiresome. <laughs> so, let's bring in these bodies. Let's bring in these thorns. Now that they're Tez, I don't even know if the ley lines are even worth bringing in, are they? Thank you for the sub, Durs Blotzer. The Derp Bolter. I don't know how I fucked that the first time, Derp Bolter. That was awful. Uh, no ley lines versus tears. Yes, and this is tears. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, 
Uh, Doomsday isn't a real deck ape. <laughs> 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 like, no one even... It's never considered... Maybe that's the only reason... Maybe that's why I can win. Because no one ever thinks about it, right? They're like, what's your anti-Doomsday tech? And they're like, the same cards as the Storm deck? And I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. And that's if they even take that question seriously. Sorry, ape. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Right, let's cut these fucking removal spells. Let's cut the abrupt decay. Cut the Caracas in the blast zone. And uh, let's cut Maze of Ith. What were the other two cards we cut before? Uh, can't even remember. Was it Grove and a Fetch? That feels wrong. Sylvan Library, I guess. Although it's pretty good if we... What the fuck did I cut before, chat? Do you guys remember? We had like a really surefire plan as we played against this deck so fucking much. They came up okay against Chrome Mox. Oh god, yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm sideboard in the same way for Antlin Tez. Oh, Field of the Dead. Oh, High Tide's a real deck, yeah. Way more than Doomsday, I agree. Let's do that. Cutting our colour sources is a bit weird. Yeah, High Tide is... I agree with Pat. Is High Tide is way more of a real deck than Doomsday. So there are three Storm variants. Tears, Ant, and High Tide. Doomsday is like the fucking... The cousin who comes to your wedding that you invited just because they exist, not because you want them there. Was that fair to say? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, not fast enough. No sphere. No. No First sphere. No. Can't believe we played st three different storm variants. What the fuck? Chat has died. Has Twitch just like fucking shat itself? No, it's still ticking along. Okay. Um. No sphere. Okay, there we go. So is, is Abe still around? Because Alex Abe is convinced we have to mulligan to sphere, and now we're on f a five. We have a combo and we have it's a not bad five. It's not terrible. I'm going to keep this. I don't think we can go any lower. Okay. I mean, we just it means we just fucking die. That's the problem. This matchup is yeah. so garbage. Fuck. Why is chat like just fro No one is talking. Just weird. Yeah. When was the last message? Can you tell me what are the top black cards? This is a keep. I'm seeing stuff. Oh, no, I've just got uh, Pat is talking about high tides. That was the last thing I can see. Chat is fuck. Gotta keep mulling. Reload stream was way behind. Quack. <laughs> okay, there. Twitch is playing up. I can't see I can't see chat. Okay, I've now moved to chat on Twitch itself as opposed to on Streamlabs, which is on light mode. That's hurt my eyes. Oh, oh, welcome to the chat room message. Weird. They've mulled to six. So we're going to put on the bottom of our library. We're going to put... We're going to keep Dark Depths because Elvis Reclaimer can get us there. Uh, we're yep. going to bottom... Port. Well, Port allows us to port them on the second turn. When we're doing nothing. I think chat's stuck again. See you later, Admiral Blastoise. Oh, Abe is gone. Uh, apparently, they called him Megachurv. That's really irritating. Interaction with chat's my favourite bit. If you can hear me, I can't read anything right now. Hopefully, Twitch will pick up. Piece of shit. But okay, it's mostly people talking about quack. So we keep the Taker. We keep the Reclaimer. We keep the Deaths. Yep. Keep the Port. And keep the loan, and then bottom ghost core on ancient two. Yeah. Oh, Schultz! There we go. Schultz has come back with it. It's uh, loams that are the problem. We should have cut a loam or two. Let's just stop flicking these cards. Chat's gonna be pissed off. Oh, the comment section on the VOD will be pissed off more than the chat, I bet. Okay. Oh, 
why did we mull? We mulled because our hands are fucking shit. Oh, oh I'm going to click the refresh chat button. Does that work? Mm. Can you hear me, chat fandango? Keep flicking them cards on that note. Quack, quack, quack. No, this is Lance vs. Turbo Depths. Thumbs up. They're the last few messages. Okay. I've just got a connect to chat message. Okay. <sighs> Play against Storm a couple times and have my chat crash. It's like Twitch doesn't okay. like me anymore. They can hear you. Good. I, I'm glad you can all hear me. Right, we're going to port them in the rock queue. I'm not going to fuck this up. Quack times 33. You know. We drew the Thespian stage. That's pretty good. Yep. Well, the chat box is scrolling on the screen for some people. Yeah, it looks like definitely an issue. You're also chopping out for me. I might. So I don't know if multiple servers going fucking going crazy. Mm -hmm. I can't get a user map. I can't get a user list or anything. Blood. It's probably a Twitch wide thing, I'd imagine. Probably. Someone said earlier they're having trouble. Uh, let's tap this fucking underground C. Get yep. out of here. And work our way towards our lovely in hand combo. Oh, look! The brainstorm! Have I poured anyone off blue tonight without them having a brainstorm in hand? <laughs> it doesn't feel. I think we did, actually, honestly. I think I do recall once doing it. I joked about it, it didn't happen. But uh, they seem to have it a lot. But that's just good sequencing from them against a port, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, we're going to die. Oh, what a load of shit. Please, Whiff, for once in your fucking life. I haven't seen Ad Nauseam fuck someone up in a long time. It's like it once they cast the Ad Nauseam, they can't lose. Crash, what the fuck is that? I've never seen that card before. Can I zoom in on it? Huh. Huh. Have you seen that before? Uh, Well, yeah. Never seen it in McKinney my life. Masks. I have some experience in that, uh, that set. So, so, I mean, I had a lot of McKinney Masks cards as a kid, but... Oh, yeah. look. There's the Infernal Tutor. So, GG. Thanks for watching and joining me to play some Legacy. Because apparently there's <laughs> three lots of fucking storm tonight as I play lands. So, that's kind of annoying. Do they even play Chrome Mox anymore? Is it just Mox Opals? Guess someone in chat could tell me if Twitch isn't fucking literally shat in its own mouth. Is it anti sphere resistance tech? I guess it is. Oh yeah, sure. This is cyber tech against the thing. Like I get why it's there. I just I've literally never seen the card, the art, the name, or like the cycle. Right, there's probably a cycle of these. So what's the one I'm thinking of? Oh, is in no invigorate. Or maybe not. I can't think of another similar thing, common or whatever. Well played. G G. God, what a fucking miserable matchup again. <laughs> Epic Fail has asked me to tell you that it's better to be lucky than good, but sometimes it's not enough. Yeah, well, this this. The other two still matchups, I don't feel like we're that unlucky for the most part. Uh, this one feels very unlucky, though. The fact that we just mulled a five, saw nothing, and then died. Yeah, also, that's not great. Like, again, like, something like Ape said earlier, which just fucking irks me a little bit, is the whole, like, um, like he said, oh, it's almost like Ad Nauseum. The deck's built to be good with Ad Nauseum. It's like, so is the deck built to, like, cast two cantrips and then have exactly what it needs to win? Like, because that... That seems... If that was literally the case, which it's not, obviously, 
if that was literally the case, then the deck, the deck would be too good, right? Just cast two cantrips and have a critical mass of resources and card selection to just win. Seems pretty yep. fucking absurd. Is it work? Will raids even work with chat being fucked? I don't even know what my view numbers are. Like. The view on my shit might have been wrong and everything. I don't know if everyone's gone or not. It's really fucking annoying. They're still here. Let's have a look. Thanks for sticking out, kids, through my like unbelievable tilt. Like, I'll be pissed off if the chat broke. I'll be pissed off if it stormed. And both together is actually really fucking irritating. This is what I can see, by the way. I'll show you all what I can see. Do we go 3 2 in the end? 3 2? I think we did. Yeah, we did go 3 2. Oh, I felt like we could have 4 1 that if we just didn't play it. Fucking Storm will burn again. Look. I think so too. I Look at that. In contention there. That's my chat right now. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. We we're 184 and strong. Well, that's good. Right, I'm going to try and raid someone. I don't even know if this is going to work. I don't know if the raid function will work. Thank you everyone for coming along and hanging out. I would probably, ch well, chat a bit more about the deck and stuff, but I can't respond to anyone, so... Another one. Uh, let's do a quick sum up. This is the deck. No, shut up, Twitch. This is the deck. <laughs> um, like I said, I took it from the, the, the Philadelphia first place. Um, I thought it was weird that they didn't have a Molten Vortex. I like the land base, though. The fact that they had Paducah Bog main deck. I still haven't used a Blast Zone to any success in any format ever. I've played it in multiple <laughs> decks. It's just sat there and done nothing or never been drawn. Um, sideboarding again. I think sideboard seemed all right as well. Yeah, like maybe I'd change one of the spheres to a chalice maybe, but then... Like... Chalice and Zero can be pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Against the Storm decks. Yeah, deck was fun. Uh, I'll probably play again on stream at some point. I don't know, but probably won't be for a little while because we've got other decks to play. Other memes, other lists, other meta decks too. Right. And on that note now, let's go raid somebody and see if their chats are working too. Okay. Chat is back, apparently. Chat is back. Oh. Um, let's click refresh then. <laughs> okay, I can see it on screen and it like like chat for ants, but I can't see it in my stream. But... Okay, right. Let's take these uh, many people and pop them over to someone else. Let's have a look who's online. So remember, kids, stick around, toot toot, throw the emote around, and then you can go to bed. <laughs> Wait, is there a modern challenge on now? It's Monday. Weird. Oh, so I'm playing Gift Storm, CWS. No, I'm not giving a Storm player the love. <laughs> Look what just happened to us. Ha, huh, Pro Jared's on playing Magic. That's interesting. Interesting. Maybe we go. Well, what what's what's our cowboy doing? What's Wheeler? Wheeler's playing Tinker Oath Paradox Mirror in Canadian Highlander. Should we go see what the fuck that is? What? That sounds mad. Well, he plays a lot of weird shit in Canlander. Right, let's raid Mr. Wheeler. Thank you for coming along, chat. I can't see anything anyone's saying. It's just fucking irritating me to no end. Hopefully it'll be fixed for uh, the next time I stream. De yeah. Desperately not to raid Jared, I think. That was, uh... <laughs> no, I, was not, I have no intention of raiding Jared, don't worry. <laughs> like, uh... Right. Let's go. All aboard. I don't even have a text box coming up to allow me to... In... <sighs> Let's try again. Try one more time. Did I mistype? Yeah, we're, not getting, a, we're not getting a raid box here. Let me try. Uh, maybe I mistyped. I don't know. Got a bit of a headache now. Oh, 
Rob. Tell Vince we love him. Give Vince our love, Rob. Love you both, gents. Thanks for the funsies. Bye, Vince and Rob. Oh. Good. Thanks, guys and girls. People are sending the love. And we're raiding. We have a raiding thing. Good. I've, I can see it. I can see it. Cool. 120 people. Let's go. Let's go do some toot toot in and showing off the cat Jesuses. Right. Good night, kids. We'll see you again next Monday. I might be streaming once more during the week. I'll post it all on the Twitters. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe over on YouTube. And join the Patreon to hang out on the Discord. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Ta-ta for now. Take. Goodbye. Another one.